Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. I start up a mountain dwarf here. I think it's just a gladiator because I haven't won those yet. And I'm going to try and get dismantled, see how they are on a mountain dwarf like this one. Also, I might put on this ring mail. So I'll just start up with an axe, see how that goes. I could try, like, different characters, different weapons with a new death metal. So I'm not entirely sure exactly what they're good at just yet, but I'm going to try to, uh, that's the basic kind of fighter character first, see how that works. Um, ooh, a ring. Except, of course, it's guarded, but that should be fine. I'll just let this guy get a little bit closer. It's a ring of willpower. I mean, that's always useful. Stop you getting confused or something by an orc wizard. There's spells, fireball, orbit destruction, bronze barreling, boulder, conjurable lightning. It's all the sphere spells. I don't know if I want those ones just yet. Ooh, do I want this armor though? Scale mail? Maybe. So I get an armor because I lose the evasion. I mean, it's pretty similar to what I've got, honestly. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. Uh Alright, well first little dungeon didn't get that much XP but it's done. Oh hey Robin. That's an army of goblins you got there. I'll let them get a little bit closer, but I can't pull up too many of them. Otherwise I'm just gonna get surrounded by goblins and die. Oh hey Natasha. Ow. I just get my health back and then fight it. Wait, no, I shouldn't fight it yet. I'm already second level. This, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's go down. Oh, that's basically the same spot. Uh, I got a fighter. What have I got? Got a net. Yeah, I okay. can. I can put her in a net. Unfortunately, there's another snake coming along, but oh well. Ooh, can I put her in a net? Uh oh, she got out. But hey. That's her death. I can get some more strength going for me. So I lost one there, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's go check this armor again now I've got a bit more strength. I mean, it's still kind of the same deal. I lose a little bit less evasion. I don't know. I'll put it on, but it's just not that special. Oh, a little snake is stopping me exploring there. It's a little ball python. Although those can be dangerous. Else, Natasha again. Oh, I have to let her get closer. Lisa, I have a higher level now, so I got a bit more health, so she's not quite as dangerous. Oh, she's back. She's got a water flame. Does she have anything else? I mean, she can summon a little limp and stuff, which is kind of a worry. Ow. <laughs> I hope that's. I think that's the last life. Yeah, it should be the third time I've killed her. So I shouldn't have to worry about her coming back or something. Alright. Because I was actually kind of lucky with fighting her. She didn't bring in any imps or anything. Hey, Ruga, how's it going? How's everything going there? Oh, got a little dude up here for me to kill. I don't need talismans, so I don't think I'm planning on going talismans. We've got create the youth with the plus zero cloak. I mean, he's worth coming back for, but no. Oh. That's Robin. Um, what do they have? A heavy trident? Um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna have to fight. No, that's gonna go terribly. Oh, you could be better, but you could be worse. I mean, I guess that's something. There we go. Go on, Robin and Dan. I think I'm gonna run away, though. I just worried that one of these dudes will get thrown in front of me. And you still a bit sick? Um, maybe a little bit, but I'm pretty much well now, so I don't really feel sick anymore. I mean, I still got, like, a tiny bit of a cough, but nothing else, really. The Whiff of Electric Fusion. Is that worth using? I'm getting lots of axes, so it's 10 damage, 0.9 attack delay. 15 damage, 1.2 attack delay. Um, I'll get back into the axis, but you know what? I might try the whip for a little while. It is electrocution. Ow. Uh, I think I just hit this guy again. Not doing very well. Um, at least 60% on the net. I think I actually hit him while dead. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's, yeah, the robin's been absolutely terrifying this game. Well, I guess that's fine. So they've got their trident. They've also got their helmet. I think I need the helmet. What am I wearing on my head? 
Oh, I'm wearing a helmet. For some reason, I thought I just had like a hat on or something because it looks kind of funny. I guess it's just a red helmet. All right, time to level two. Have you tried the new uh, Dismetals, Roger? So I think that, well, I kind of tried like a little bit offline, but I haven't really tried them much at all. So I'm curious what they're like. Oh, this rushing water. Um, well, I don't have any magic mappings, so I'm just going to have to walk to it. Try and listen out. Whoa. All right, well, I guess that's fine. Um, just a little hand axe. Keep an eye on these axes, but that's nothing too special. So it's a very distant hmm, rush of water. I want to go Bjork. It's offering to convert me because I got a blow half health, I think, but uh, I'm fine. I don't need to convert there to survive. Uh, still hear that rushing water. I feel like I'm going the wrong way, but I'll put on the evasion at least. Oh, you tried it a bit when it was in the dev branch. Yup. Oh, do you find us any good? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tried enough to really have an opinion. Oh, I've got faith. I don't even have a god. Uh, how should I go? I might go this way, but I, it could just as easily be the other way that I need to go to get to the sewer. Um, try to go up, see if that makes a difference, or if I had to go down? I really don't know. Hasn't told me where it is for a while. Oh, hey, oh no. What is it? Do you have just paralysis? Do you have willpower on? I guess this is fine. But it's going to be pretty hard to get away. What is the chance actually on the paralysis? 16%. Yeah, it's not terrible. I mean, I did fight a Jeep. Alright, it's a good sign, right? That means there's maybe a sewer around. No, it doesn't look like it. Got excited for a second. It's very distant, so I'm completely the wrong side of the map. Um... If I just go down, though, there is a chance that I'll get to the sewer. That's obviously not going to go the right way. Yeah, I guess this way. So it's still very distant. It's not promising that it's down this way at all. Um. Alright, so if it's very distant here, it's very distant here, it was very distant somewhere around here, what? Why does that even leave that I can look? I mean... Huh? I don't know if it's down this way. It's still very distant. I'm kind of confused. I've like, kind of looked at every corner of the map and it'd be very distant. Although it might be this way. Down to this corner. Hey, it's nearby. Okay, yeah, it is one of the ones that are just really off to the side. You gotta walk back quite a bit to get to. No, that makes sense. Am I actually making it on time as well? I don't know how uh, desperate that was to go off, but it looks like I'm here. Got inventory room, so let's just go in. <laughs> of course, there's an army of bats. They're not gonna even damage me through my armor class. Well, I'd be surprised if they did, like, damage me fast in my regen. Oh, come on. Just kill the bat. I seem to be throwing the damage to bad slow, which is a bit of a shame. Ooh, brainworm. I thought I'd just wander up to that one. There we go. An alligator. There's a potion of berserk. I can see what it wants me to do here. It wants me to just go grab the potion of berserk and berserk the alligator, but I think I'd rather try and paralyze it, honestly. There we go, thank god it was just fine, so we got a sword, not even a sword kind of character. That was kind of small, it was basically just an alligator. But okay, I guess I'll get out of here. Uh, oh, hey Jessica. Jessica should be too bad, she is next to me, which makes things a lot easier. Because if she is further away, she gets to shoot you lots before she gets up to you, but I don't think she does too much damage when she's next to you. Alright, well, dungeon level 3 was not too bad. Tiny sewer though, but hey. 
Do I finally have an identify? I've got one of these. Say it is an identify. I gotta do one of the scrollers. I got emulation. I love the new color for those uh, dangerous scrolls. And it got some vulnerability. Yeah, that's like so much more readable than the old one. Oh. I don't know what I do here. Still a little bit of flavor with this guy, but I don't think it will help that much. It's resistant to electricity, right? Uh, it's not working very well. Can I just paralyze it? Oh, wait, I should check the chart. It's hold up. Um, so there's a sky beast, right? I don't have willpower, so it's probably about 50%. I think I do paralyze it. It should become visible when it's paralyzed or not. Nothing happens. I don't know. Be yeah, nice if it was actually visible. I mean, I guess I killed. I'm not sure if I paralyzed it or not, actually. I'm not entirely sure of the rules about paralyzing an invisible thing. Oh, there was a blame loot in the end, so yeah, a little bit. Unfortunately, this time around. Shots sort of speed. Hmm. Uh, oh, well, I guess you don't always get a loot filled sewer. I don't need a helmet again. There's another one there, just in case I want to have three helmets. I don't know, I don't think there's any three headed species in this game. But you can't even play it as an atom, those would be the closest thing. Uh, it's got a plasma beam, a fog spire, a starburst. I feel like these dwarves, I think they're bad at air, or they're good at earth or something. I don't know, something like that. Oh. I just bring one of these guys up. She's got a basic war axe, which I've got one of those. So I don't know why I'm not using it. I guess the wood for electrocution is decent. So we've got some gods here. We've got Nebelik, Sith Martyr, and Ushkeor. Hey, that knows you're a Delm Doll. No dismetal so far. Ooh, an ogre. I don't like the look of that. Um, yeah, that's not great. I gotta try putting put it on a net and then bash it up. I lost my net. That's my last net gone, but at least I survived. Alright, what is, uh, what have we got in here? That's tiny. That does also look quite right. There's no dismetals in there. Well, so much for that temple. Um, oops. I don't even like to throw these pot darts. I'm not sure what I was doing wrong there. All right. We got uh, another altar, but that was just rue. Oh, got all these little fish guys. There's got to be a mute poison, right? And mm, it is. I don't know what to do. I guess I just hit it with a little bit of fire, but and then fight it because it got next to me. Are you guys the follow to your RC file? Tile show threat level equals tough, nasty, unusual. What does the tile show threat level do? Because I know you can have like the backgrounds of various colors. Um, I should maybe like rethink about that one, see what there is. Unusual, hmm. I don't know, I might uh, look that one up at some stage, see what those various options do, see what the ones are available. I gotta... Oh, do I, have a, I don't have any stacks of potions yet, but I'll do one anyway. Haste, alright. Just try to look for, like, uh, all the signification. Try to look for, like, curing or something. Heal wounds? Heal wounds is pretty good, though. Oh, wait, one doll. There's probably more than one doll, so I'll pull it back. But yeah, I'll still already get one. The ogre would have been yellow background from that. Oh, for being like a tough creature or something? Yeah, that's the rest of the dolls. Huh. I don't know if I want like all my creatures of various different colors. I feel like I can usually tell, although if they have like a dangerous weapon. Oh, just metals. That's what I'm after. There we go, new death medals unlocked. 
Well, I think I gotta get some piety before they do much at the moment. Yeah, they don't even suppress noise until you get a bit of piety. Um, what's this? Strand weapon? Let's just go back to the war axe. Gotta branch up. Hopefully, I don't just find like a really good axe straight away. Oh, Vampiric isn't bad. Shame it wasn't a broad um, axe, but hey, it will do for now. It will definitely keep me going until hopefully I find a broad axe. Oh, hey, Sigmund. You know, it's plus three scythe and a rope of willpower. Um, I want to be close to them. I don't want to be fighting them like that far away. Because otherwise, they'll just be bombarding me with spells the whole time. Cloak time, and we've also got Manual of Ice Magic, and there's some other books here, like Yara's Vantam Rev, like Anime Army Leader's Liquid Fat, and Anime Army is fun on the Mountain Dwarf, but I'm not sure if I'll get it with this one. Gels, Gravot, Dispersal, maybe? What else have we got? Confusing Touch, Vampiric, Draining Slow, All the Flames, Minor Magic, Storms, I can never remember the Storms. Summer Lightning Spy, Air Strike, Lightning Spy, I eventually I should remember that one. Book of Touch, Book of Winter, I don't think I need those ones. And there's also some kind of abyssal vault here. This thing should be able to get out. And is that a distortion weapon? Yup, it is a distortion weapon. And there's also... Joe Steele's Ghost. They're a Minotaur Delver. They're really weak. They've only got 20 hit points. They're probably like a level 1 Minotaur that... Wait, this is not a level 6. Oh, hey, Grinder. I do have a willpower, but I'm going to pull it back. That's not working that well. Um, going to do the warping. She might just blink anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not good. All right. Can't get both of them. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, I got put to sleep for a second there. This is not ideal. The warping's not quite working, actually. I guess that sort of just, yeah, just kill them is what I gotta do there. Oh, paralyzed again. What is the chance of that one? 16%? Right, so it's not perfect for it to be, well, chance for it to paralyze me or something, because it was feeling more like 50% or something. Uh, plus three leather. How protective. That shouldn't be worthwhile, right? Oh, it is. I don't change my AC, but I get armor class, so yeah, it's uh, not, no, what am I saying? I get evasion, but I don't change my AC, so definitely worthwhile at the moment. It's Sigmund. There we go, and he's got his robe of willpower, which I don't think is right. Although, without me dealing with the other creatures that are tying my willpower, maybe I do need the robe of willpower. Whoops, that was slightly the wrong way to go, but I think I'm still good. I'm not going to get this guy off the staircase because it's got a pole on, but I'll try my best. Just to get somewhere I can run away if I need to. I think that was a plus zero war axe. Yeah, it was, unfortunately. Because if it, was a, if it wasn't charged up and you was like, oh, way too many priests. Okay. Let's just back up a bit. I, they might get a few smites in, but they shouldn't be able to take me out on the way back to the staircase here, at least. Whoops. I give up running to these corners completely wrong. Alright, on top of the axe. Active electrocution, it's just a little hand axe, so I don't think I can worry about it. Oh, they all moved. Oh. Um, there's not a lot I can do apart from just attack them, I think. Got a healing potion if I need it. But no, there wasn't really a lot I could do to escape that sort of situation. Um, I should have maybe got up slightly earlier and then gone to a different staircase and done that whole process over again because I, I should have known that I pulled them all up there because they were all kind of approaching at the same time, unfortunately. What am I doing? I'm silencing the noise around me, which I don't think does a huge amount for this character. No, it's probably be more important if you're like a noisy spellcaster or something. Maybe uh, spellcasters are the way to go with death medals. Maybe. Oh, we got some teleport. That could be nice. Uh, 
Uh, some sort of flail here. I don't think it's that good. Lord of the plus four. No, it's nothing too special. All right, well, I'm done with dungeon level six, so obviously the thing to do is just go down. Is this metal uh, an exploration party? Yeah. Okay. So it should just kind of go up on its own as I progress through the dungeon. Uh, I don't like to look at this acid dragon. Can I paralyze it? Maybe it's 50%. Oh, come on, 50%. No, I failed four times in a row. This is really bad. Um, I just got to berserk it, but this is really questionable. I mean, I'm vampire draining back some health to keep me nice and healthy, I guess. There we go, got it. It's such a shame that paralysis failed four times in a row. I don't have any god abilities yet. I could get some wand skill. I've got less wands than I used to, though, but oh well. Yeah, let's get some more strands so oh, I can't even see what they are. Well, so I could in a different menu. I know I've still got the warping. Yeah, I really don't have a lot of wands anymore. Oh well. Plus two evening star of holy wrath. Uh, shame I just did the axes, but you know what? I think I'm going base of flails now. So that's 27 damage compared to my axes. 19 damage. I mean, it's still 1.1 attack delay, which isn't terrible at all. Oh, these guys have got my lightning rod. I don't think I can find an electric ugly thing. I've got no resist electric and... Well, I think it would just kind of bash me up. Oof. I look at that guy. Um... Okay. That's probably good. Let me just teleport out now. I just wanted to kill the other orc first. That's fine. I can just go upstairs. There we go. What the, what's another dude just doing up here? But that's fine. I can just go upstairs again. And then I can finally get some peace to heal up. Alright. Where's the staircase? This one? Yeah, that looks fine. Uh... I know there's a lot of orcs, so I'm just gonna, like, run in. I'm just gonna pull them back. Because I think, yeah, they're there. All the, oh, the priests. Oh, hey, the boss. What about a... War... Wait, a worm dwarf? Why would I be a worm dwarf? I don't know, sure. I, what that means. I think I'll be a, a mountain dwarf. But I, I guess, I mean, I guess dwarves dig, right? Except for apparently this one doesn't dig, because I don't think I've got any wands of digging. Are oh, you change your tile to a worm? Just run around as a worm with an evening star? I'm not sure about that one. I mean, I guess I could be a worm dwarf. Um, I was like, the Kraken tentacle. The tentacle looks so funny when you're just like a mini tentacle wielding a flail or something. I don't know, it always looks so funny. I'm gonna pull this dude upstairs. I don't know if I had gloves. I don't think so, right? And I should probably drop some of this old armor. The leather arm is pointless. Ring mail is pointless. Maybe the chain mail at some stage. Uh, you know, we're part of the worm gang. <laughs> we want to dress as worms. I mean, the worms in this game did get a little bit more powerful recently, right? Oh. But they have ability to throw nets at people. Oh, God. Okay, 4 AC, but I lose, like, 5.5 evasion. Hmm. The apportation. I don't know. I don't think those spells are that good. I like this evening star, which is definitely doing the trick. That has already slaughtered down to level 7. Oh no, the guy's gonna have plus three glaive, does it? I don't like it when the um, orc warriors have really tough weapons, because that's gonna do some serious damage. That's gonna, I don't know, try to explore as much of the rest of the levels I can first.
And yet these guys got some armor for me, I don't think so. I think the plus three leather or armor is the best they're going to get. Oh, hey, Jeremiah. What I want to do with Jeremiah is just bring him in nice and close. Worm for all. Early birds need not apply. Not going to get the early birds any worms. They're just going to give them to everyone. I mean, that's fair enough. Uh... Hey, there we go. Jeremiah's dead. What's he got? An orb of guile? I mean, I totally could use an orb of guile, but I'm not really an enchanter. Um, I'm going to soften up this orc. I'm blinking uh, the warping's the right thing to use to soften it, but I'll give it a try. It's kind of the only thing I've got. I mean, I guess that works. Okay, I've got 10 base of flails. Wait, did I add that? Um, it wasn't too long ago that I added TTS. It was... I don't know. Probably less than a month, I would guess. Getting a little bit of armor skill. Yeah, it really wasn't too long back. I did a baptism of sevens. Wait, what do you mean by a baptism of sevens? I'm slightly confused. Like, is that a is that a voice? Okay, let's pull these dudes back. Uh. It's going to shoot at me. All this, like, tons of sevens. Oh, what the hell is going to read out? What a ton of sevens. Seven, 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 se
Do I have a fire this somewhere? I want to emulate them, but I don't have a fire this. I feel like that would go badly if I emulated them, right? Right? No, I still think I can emulate these dudes. Uh, I berserk out for a little bit more health, and then I should be fine. There we go. Yup. Completely fine. Who needs fire this when you can just blow yourself up, right? All right, well, it's double dungeon level eight. Uh, did I did do the level above? It's a bit hard to keep track though when I got shafted and stuff. Wait, I wanted the unexplored staircase here. I don't like the look of the other staircase. I think. What does the little dude do? So twenty four damage. It gets a plus zero unbranded weapon. It's got a bit of evasion, but it doesn't have much health. I know, it's interesting how it's like a physical dude now that comes out, because it means it does need a place, but it's actually... It makes it more obvious that the Shadow Mimicry is actually doing something. Um, that when it's not a physical dude, you just have to look at the message log to realize it's even doing something. Uh... I should actually be really good against these uh, undead guys because I got the Holy Wrath, which is really going to help me out. All right. Oh. Got all the dudes. Let's just bring some of these back to a corridor, I think. Wait, I'm not needing broad eggs anymore. <laughs> Uh, got Okawaru. That's not entirely sure how I expected to say, like, call on A, okay. <laughs> uh, no, it's two headed Ogre. What, I, what can I do? I still don't have a Curari. I gotta head over the warping, but like it's probably gonna get out to me. No, it didn't. Let's just move back a little bit. Um, oh, I don't know. Just moving it a little bit with the warping, because like, what else am I gonna do to it? I don't wanna just uh, absolutely smack me. I mean, I did take it out. Oh, there's another one? Because there's another one. There's always another one. I'll just pull it back. Uh, oh, wait. What? Why is it healing up? It should be taking damage on this point. It's not healing back up to full health. Oh, well. At least I'm able to just smack it to death. Uh, I had flame, right? Yeah, that was one of the few ones I do have. But I remember when, like, TTS people put in things in, like, other languages when they're trying to get, like, words that are banned. And they can often, like, get it just to say pretty much anything. I know, I can't remember the exact example, but I know there was, like, an example of, like, people just, like, using words in other languages to say, like, basically any words in Spanish. It's kind of funny. Alright, where do I want to go? Oh, hey there. I'm glad I'm next to this guy, or pretty much next to this guy. So I've got Shadow Step now. It's one that I stepped to my little Shadow Dude, except I don't feel like Shadow Step's that useful. I mean, it was never very useful don't with this battle. Don't hate it when your cat wakes you up like this? Meow. Meow. Uh, wait, the suit can't open the door, right? So I should just be able to step up to this guy. Not the slow meowling cat. Alright, what have we got in here? We've got a toxic radiance, alright. Wait, has one hit the troll? That was not a very tough troll. Um, I still have no fire to this, right? <sighs> I mean, I could probably, yeah, just kill that guy, but it's a shame having no fire to this. Do I want to be with Holy Wrath like this entire game? Because I got a branding if I want to rebrand, but I'm kind of... I don't know how I feel about being Holy Wrath this entire game, but it would be kind of useful maybe later on to be Holy Wrath. Oh, hey, the little plant guarding the Phantas altar. I must have all the gods by now, right? If that was dungeon level 10, I do have all the gods. I gotta go one, down one more level. I like the lawnmower go show shiri, revolver boom shiri, and rice burners go wow, 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 wow. 
I mean, the TDS tried to keep up with what you're saying there. <laughs> it certainly tried. Oh, where's the, where's the way down? Ah. Uh, got all three ways down, don't I? But... Okay, that's... Hmm, so I just want to go to that one. That's probably the one without the axe. There we go. And that's, uh, because there's a hound here, there's probably Grub. Is I reckon there's a good chance, because, wait, I've had the lair, right? No. Oh. Well, it might actually just be the lair. That's also another possibility. Alright, get back here, wolf. Um... And it's just a lair, right? Fair enough. Got the gloves. I'm just trying to think. What does this character need? I guess I need to identify a potion of mutation. Sure. I could self-mutate myself just to see what I get, but I think I should probably hold on to those ones. That's the problem with the mutation ones. You don't often get to just, like, use them for fun. Uh, I can now unleash an enemy spells as if they were a marinette. Alright, cool. Not that there's any enemies here with spells right now. With enlightenment's good. No, I can't do that on a yak. What's my chance of failure? 60% or something? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to get, uh, something before I do that. Can I do a Nurgle? To go soy 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 at least someone uses it. No point in having TDS if no one uses it, right? Oh, what's this? A plus one helmet? Alright. I don't understand why I could do the uh aphotic marinette on Um Nigel there though. That I don't know. Maybe a summoning maybe I'm not allowed to use a summoning spell. Because I know some of uh spells like the summoning is meant to turn into something for me, but yeah, maybe her one doesn't work. Maybe the orcs are too loyal to her or something. Anyway, let's go to the lair. Maybe the lair will have someone that I can pop it. Also, I should um just get invocators, so 10 or something. Just so I can do all my abilities, see if they're useful or not. Sounds like it might be useful. I don't know. The problem with the puppeting people is like, if there's only one enemy... I don't think you can often force it to hit itself. Like, a lot of spells that target someone else, right? Um... This is fine with all these blink frogs. They do have a regen, at least. What I need is a shield, I think. Though, to try and defend myself a bit better. Oh, is there gonna be a maven here? Probably is. Which means I get a demon whip. Unfortunately, I'm not, like, poison resist, so... Uh, that's not ideal, but I guess I'll try and find these guys anyway. Let's go down. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a main one. I'm going to try to avoid the corner with a main one and see if I can get a poison resist. Um, <laughs> it's unlikely I'll just find a poison resist in the meantime, though, but hey, at least I can avoid him for now. Oh. Uh... I wish I could do about this guy rolling at me, but I can at least hit him with some curaris. Not curaris, poison darts. There's a choke point. Good. Sometimes it's really hard to let find choke points, because sometimes it, it gives you a lot of the, like, almost choke point areas, like there, there. But actually, it's going to be a decent number of real ones on this level. Hey, yeah, it's a maven with a demon whip of venom. Wait, where did I get a curari? Apparently, I've got one. I've got like five of them, even. Um, I could curari him. What can I even do for a poison resist? I 
think I oh, I've only got one lignification. I think I got it though. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, we step back. That's all right. Nah, whoops. Ah, trying to throw a dart at him. I think I missed him again though. Come on. What's he doing? Really? He's going to dance back and forth out of view? That's just silly. Um. And finally he moved up. Okay, well that was fine once he finally moved up. Um, let me look at this demon whip. So it does 23 damage, 0.5 attack delay, because I'm on mid delay with this thing already. Whereas this thing's 30... One damage point seven attack delay. I'm not quite mid delay, but I'm pretty close. Oh, what's actually better? So that's forty six. Uh, if, if it was one attack delay, this is. What is this? Uh, forty five. Right. Yeah, pretty similar, except the. Uh, Demon Whip's probably better in here when I can just pause these guys up. I'm surprised how many, like, uh, Mason Flails. I've kind of been spoiled for choice with the Mason Flails this game. No, I feel like definitely swapping was the right thing to do. Alright, what can I did? Five, got four of these. Yeah, nice. Mm. Yeah, that's close I can to a choke point. It was not really a choke point with blink frogs because they just got to blink round to the other side, maybe. Except they didn't for some reason. All right, level one was no problems. It's not, it was way better than some of the levels. I mean, I guess it did have a uh, maven with a, like, a poison weapon or they had no poison resist. That's not going to work very well. I'm just going to, if I stick around there, I'm just going to get petrified, definitely, by that kind of bleepers. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Can I just warp that dude? There we go. I gotta try on some more armor. So if I look at this plate armor, it gives 5 armor class but loses 5 evasion. Except it's slightly more than armor class. I think it's finally time for some heavy armor though. Uh, let's drop the Vampiric War Axe. It was useful. I'll drop definitely drop the web. Drop the helmet. Drop the scale mail. Drop the chain mail. Alright, there we go. The... the I kind of look pretty cool though with this plate armor. <laughs> Give me over the other armor. Let's pull this guy back. Come on, can it us? You know you want to follow back here. Yeah, let's pull it back. Yeah, about that much. All right, there we go. Can it us? Dead. I'm glad I got the curari to slow it down. So it's not a uh, poison. Well. Not purely just like doing its cold spike clouds every turn or something. It's doing it, I don't know, what, every one and a half turns? Definitely a bit better. Gotta double check that there aren't shields like even bucklers. I mean, there's an orb of guile. There's a plus an eight heavy sphere or poison resist. Oh, oh, oh no. So I got marked, but that's not the worst thing here. The worst thing is I got no fire resistance. There's a uh, oh, an infinite willpower will of the wisp here. Okay, dismantles. Can you do anything? You can do primordial nightfall. Hmm, that's the one that temporarily reduced my vision to zero. Um, let me try and blink this guy away. Oh, I blinked it towards me. It's probably some of my best source of damage is hitting this guy with a warping. Ouch. Alright, well I killed it, so that's fine. I'm still marked. Um out of the middle of open and slightly wounded. Alright. I think I just do a fear that I run back to the staircase. 
There we go. That oh, there I mean, is a guy here, but that's fine. That was an easy enough one to deal with. And sometimes the game throws some tricky situations at you with the, with the mic. At least that gave me four fear. That made a huge difference there. Um. I'm down to 21% on the primordial night because I got the 10 skill. Do I just want to get more skill? I actually kind of do. I want to bring this up to like 15, so I can probably do that really reliable. Lee? Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. Everyday man's on the block. Smoke trees. See your girl in the park. That girl is a Wooka's when the ting went quack, quack, quack. You man were ducking hold tight. Ask me. He's got the pumpy. Hold tight. My man. He's got the free. Uh. Oh, I think I timed out on you there, the uh, TDS. Not sure I understand anything you just said, though. <laughs> oh, now you know how long you've gone on a TDS, though, before it timed out. Yeah, I think it does have a certain length. Um, I don't understand the original song either. It's some British rapper. Uh, yeah, I don't understand what smoking trees even means. I don't know, but I guess that song is for you sometimes. They don't quite make sense. Uh, there was a melee around here. Oh, there it is. Speaking of the melee, it's right here. It, one's fine, but two would probably be about the limit of what this character could take out. And three would just be absolutely lethal. Oh, hey, it's a spider nest. Ah, my favorite branch. I get to fight and the spiders. I've got the swamp as well right next to it. Swamp is fine. I don't mind doing swamp. Might do the swamp first, I think, with this character. Hopefully with poison resist, though, because I haven't found that just yet. Oh. Hey, Hydra. I'm not going to give it heads, um, so I might just be able to bring it here and fight it. I'm not giving it heads right, it's still four-headed, but it's doing quite a lot of damage to me. I gotta, gotta get back to the staircase, I think. And go up, before these guys do too much Boy, damage trap, to me. Trap, trap on the road. Moving that cornflakes, rice crispy. Hold tight, my girl with me perfect on the road, doing ten toes. Like my toes. You man thought I froze. I see a pen girl, then I pose. Sure. You yep, still don't quite understand those lurks. All right. No one does. I wonder if they even like the rapper that originally made them like understands or not. <laughs> like with the obscure references where they literally don't make sense. Uh, I got some identifier here. I should definitely use that. Oh, death yak, death. Hmm. Kill this dude. Oh wait. Ah, no, it's top snail. That's not gonna work. Ah, I hate that. What can I do to this top snail? I can. I could do a primordial knight. Sure, let's give it a try. Wait, I still know where all the creatures are? Oh, I guess I do. I know where they were, even if I don't know where they are. That's actually maybe a fairly good escape option. I want to fight those guys one at a time, though. I don't want to fight both of them, because the problem with the top snail is, like, it's going to make the death yank way too tough. And also, I can't run away, because, well, I'm still on the top uh, not top snail, death yank while torpid. Oh, that's the whole idea about hipster music. You don't get it, so it's not cool. Yeah. 
I don't know, I don't, for some reason I find it like slightly frustrating when I like I'm listening to a song and it's like really catchy but I can't really understand what the lyrics are about. It's like, is this, is this song even, what does it even try to say? Oh, there's a top snail, but I should be absolutely fine now. At least I've figured out that the Primordial Nightfall is actually a really good escape ability. That's uh, certainly better than the old, like, shadow form thing that Dismetals had as an escape option. The shadow form used to be, like, really, really situational way of getting immunity to torment. And you, like, sometimes use it for other things, but that was its main use. Um, whereas I feel like this Primordial Nightfall is going to be a lot more useful. Oh, so Horfrost Cannonade. I tried the Cannonade before and I wasn't massively impressed by it. Also, keep his armor for frozen ramparts, alright. I mean, maybe if I was a dedicated ice character, I'd take it anyway, but I feel like it's just not hugely impressive. It's kind of impressive when enemies have it, though. They seem to be able to make good use out of it, like the elves and the elven halls that have it. I don't know. It just kind of felt like it was killing things incredibly slowly. Oh, sometimes you just sit there and like look and it's like, no, this doesn't make sense, sorry. Yup. <laughs> oh, no, I petrified myself? That was silly of me. Oh, a walking midnight. I guess there's a whole new set of Dismetals titles, is there? Because that one doesn't sound like what I'm familiar with. Let's go see if the title thing here has the new Dismetals ones. Uh, ooh, it does. Yep, it's got them right here. Are any of these the same as the old ones, or are they all completely different? So we've got... Oh, the walking is different kinds of walking, so you can have, like, Flying Midnight. Who hides the stars? Okay. I might try for that one because I've definitely not had that one. Uh, Walking Midnight is definitely a new one, right? Puppet Master sounds new. Tenebrius? I don't know. Who sounds new. Thesbian definitely sounds new. Bump of the Night? Nocturnal? Yeah, I think there's a whole new set. All right. I never got all the, uh, old Dismetal Swans, but I got a decent number of them. Invocations is good. Uh, what do I need? Maze of Flails on 16. Fighting's good. I gotta try for some armor. See if it makes any difference. Apparently, armor now uh, doesn't have, like, breakpoints like it used to. You, like, if you have... I don't know, say 18 and a half armor class, it's better than having 18 armor class, because sometimes it counts as 18 and sometimes it counts as 19. Got Bong Chion Dong's Ghost. They are Murpho Gladiator Wujian. I got Venom. I did no chance I find that one. Especially with that Moth of Wrath in there. <laughs> I mean, maybe later on I'm going to come back for them, but yeah, at the moment there's like Death with a spring in um, there, and then the Moth of Wrath and. The ghost that has stuff that I can't deal with. I don't have any way of stopping this guy, like, berserking up, do I? Yeah, well. Wait, that's a lot of elephants. Hold up. Oh. That's not a good idea. I guess I'm just gonna have to fight these guys, because, yeah, there's a... Uh, okay, Pat... Petrified if I was running away there. They also get a ton of attacks against me. This looks fine though. I was trying to get a better choke point than that, but hey, sometimes you gotta go with what you've got rather than what you actually. Well, rather than trying to run across half the level to find something better. But how much Java class the elephant has? I'm like, I really thought about that. I mean, I actually think it's a little bit. I guess I got a thick hide or something. 
Because I know I'm, elephant can't exactly dodge, right? I just didn't think of them as having that many defense. I think they're mainly about just having lots of health, honestly. Rather than anything else. Uh, how many more levels? I got one level. Hey, I know who hides the stars. Wait, why is there an awkward like cover up here? Is it usually a comment between your name and your title? I don't know. I don't feel like there is. And it's usually not like a space before an awkward, like a, a space and an awkward cover and then another space. I don't feel like that's how it's meant to be, but oh well. I wonder whether if you get the title now and it's like kind of buggy looking, then you get it again later on but it's like fixed. Whether you can have both. You probably can, because I feel like that's kind of how titles work. You just get whatever you got at the time, and then it just stays like that. Whether it was buggy or not. Alright, did that armor help? Yeah, it did. It got me like three armor class. You know what, I might get more. Do I need dodging? No, really. Do I need... Oh, probably a little bit of invocations as well is probably a good idea. I've still got the um, paralysis and warping. This doesn't really feel like a level 5 to uh, the lair. It feels just like any other level so far, but I guess I will get the ending unique part soon. Yeah, certainly not one of those lake ones that just ambushes you with endless enemies. Otherwise, I definitely would have noticed by now. It's probably a forest, it's probably just for one side of the level, and I probably just haven't got to the right side of the level yet, would be my guess about uh, what sort of level. Ooh, yeah, in fact, that dude's not good. Uh... Bring it up on its own, because it can confuse, but it- oh, it's fine. It's dead anyway. Uh... Yep, well, I'm confused, that's fine. I'll just try and kill it while I'm confused. It shouldn't be able to do much damage to me. I mean, there's a little bit of poison getting thrown out but there, but not much else. Uh, in fact, I should actually avoid this area because there will be a guy that does actually substantial poison damage in there. And I'm not ready to fight it because I have no poison resistance. Ooh, Death Yaks. I better bring these back to a staircase. Wait, where are they? There they are. This character definitely has no problems with death yanks one at a time. They're not the sort of character that dies 1v1 to a Curari death yank or something. Um, How many of these dudes are there, though? <laughs> Alright, where's my third staircase? Is this the one? Yeah, it's it. It's gotta be somewhere that's, like, not going down next to the death yanks. Alright, five identified. So let's start with whatever this is. Amnesia I've got five off. Uh, poison I've got three off. I'll do some potions too. Curing I've got three off. Revelations I've got three. Okay, and I've got something else two off. Summoning. Oh yeah. Uh, I can't get back to the staircase, can I? Pull this dude back to here. I don't think there's other ones coming along. No, there's not. Alright, any staircase will do at this point, because I, well, it just will. Alright, let's go back here and find some more, wait, where's my death yanks? Come on, game, don't show me on the death yanks, I know they're around here. Um, there were more of those death yanks, right? Okay. Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I've got the, is this the top of snow and tired leech and uh, wasp of some kind area? Uh, I think it might be. 
Oh, you saw the tyrant leeches and type of snails in here. Whoa. No, I think this is fine. What you don't want to get is like surrounded out in the open by a whole bunch of like hornets or whatever they are, just take it out that way. But it should be fine. Oh, we've got some silence. Especially with like one top of snail around or something. Um whew. So it's burning me up. Um Why have I slowed? Oh, the oh, hornets got me with some slowing, didn't they? Um Can I make this dude blow itself up? Huh? Maybe not. But it's telling me I can target the ability. I, I don't know what's going on there. I think I've got to get these guys with some fear. Oh, this guy is still unaffected. Oh, I think I've got to teleport out, actually. Whoa, no, what have I just teleported into? This is the worst possible situation. Oh, no. I'm right in the poison right now. I have no blinking. No, come on. Oh, no. Uh, how much poison damage am I going to stay take from staying in this cloud? Oh, I hate this. I do my primordial night. Okay. I do a teleport. Four hit points are badly poisoned. Hmm. I drink a healing potion. Okay. Can't even really get out of this poison. Um. Do a curing. Hey, I think the poison subsided on me. Eventually, it should teleport me out of here. There we go. Wow, that's terrifying. <laughs> I'm out of teleport scrolls, but um, without that first one put me, I'm not sure that really improved my situation from how it was before. All right, I think I leave the lair and just come back later on when I've got some fire resist and um, stuff like that. Otherwise, I think I'm in a bit of trouble. But yeah, it does show that the Primordial Knight is a very good escape option. Because it kind of stops enemies being able to do anything to you for a little while. Uh, well, it's probably better when you have the teleport zone to actually teleport out after you've done the thing. Oh. Mm. Gonna refuse to walk next to me, isn't it? Just gonna stand there. I just pick up a wizardry. I've got a magic region. I could probably drop all the stuff to do with spell casting, and I could probably drop the face. Though it is fairly expensive doing the primordial night. I just want one of these guys to come out. I don't want both of them. Oh, I got both of them, of course. Oh, well, that's fine. They stick together. Uh, I can't throw those rocks. I haven't actually gone to throw it yet. It's probably something I should get into. It's not a shield, is it? No, it's not. All right. I don't think any of those guys had shields, unfortunately. They're, oh, good, there's a the teleport. There was also, like, the um, scale mail fire this, which is, like, an okay source of fire this if I need something. Alright, where do I want to go? I probably just want to go to the orcish mine and see what the orcs are up to. Oh, they've got Fana? Uh... Where's my cold resist game? I've got a robe of cold resist, a dagger of cold resist. You know what? I'm going to do dungeon level 13 and hope for something better of cold resist. Oh, uh, there was something on this level. 
Wave of Frost. I mean, that doesn't help, but I've got no cold resist. There's also Rupert right here with Paralysis. Okay. And Dezos as well. Um, I'm going to go down my third staircase. That's not, in fact, the wave of frost. I thought I was like, oh, I'm right outside because I could see the thing to the ground. I was like, I actually am very close, apparently. Uh, I feel like I'm probably going to have to run for this ice game, unfortunately, but oh well. Okay, I don't need the amnesia. What else do I need here? I should just bring this guy around the corner as best I can. There we go. All right, what a... Uh, I don't know, I tracked down an ice cave. Oh, hey, uh, Kursia, thanks for following there. I appreciate that one. Oh, it's a very distant ice cave. So that gives me a good idea where it is. Oh, hey, Snog. This level's absolutely full of uniques, because I know there's also Nezos and Rupert around. Uh... I get a wand of flame in here. Yes, good. It's a bit worried that the ice elemental might block my path to it or something. Oh, that uh, the the lyrics earlier were from an English comedian. The song's a joke, right? That makes kind of more sense as a joke. I think. Uh, ooh. Probably paralyzed Nezos, but he's kind of far away. I wanted to like blink closer because I think he does do that. Oh, except he didn't want it today. All right, well, God Nezos, there's still Rupert left on this floor somewhere. They're getting kind of closer to where he is. That's very distant. Okay, I'm obviously going to complete the wrong area. I might just do a Revelations to find this ice cave because I'm not finding it normally. Oh, it's this way. That's easy enough to get to. Oh, it's a parody of UK rap, uh, drill rappers. Right, yep. So it kind of does make a lot of sense, the parody, because, like, a lot of rap songs, but, like, it's, uh... It kind of works as a parody because you can't tell that it's a parody, right? Like, you can't be 100% sure when you hear that that's a parody and not, like, an actual rap song. Do I need the branding? I want to eventually rebrand, but I'm not in a hurry to rebrand. I might leave it outside. I can probably just come back for when I need it. Okay, let's go in. Come on, please be beasts. These look like beasts. Good, that's a good sign. There will be icings later on, but it's good at least starting with the beasts. Alright, come on, have a shield for me, game. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's fighting a shield lying on the ground. Except not behind those guys. I like I was throwing plenty of choke points at me, because I know these ice caves can sometimes have, like, a lot of areas that don't quite form a choke point, a bit like this, like how you can't quite get a choke point. Yeah, or like here, where you can't quite get a choke point, but at least earlier I was getting some areas. Uh, I got a leather armor of resistance. How, mm, how protective is that? Decrease armor class by 10? Oh, I don't even know. It does get cold resist though, but I don't need it against all these beasts. It's worried that I'm gonna really soon find something that actually does cold damage. Alright, do I have potion resistance at least? No, I don't, because it'd be nice to have an emergency one of those, just in case. Oh, just some treasure up here. Let's check it out. It's an anti magic great sword. Another five charges of paralysis. All right. I don't really need the great sword, or I guess the money's useful. Oh, I can't find the statue just yet. What have we got? We've got a way out. 
Crystal Blade, I'll be cold resist. I see. Um. It'll do a primordial night. Gonna grab the Crystal Blade, I'll be cold resist. Oh, I can't quite get back. I was hoping I could get back out of there. Okay, I might, uh. Get on my side teleport. Right, do I, anyway, what I want to do is I want to put on the Crystal Plate on Recall Resist, there we go. That's going to keep me nice and protected, that's what I was trying to do. Unfortunately, that was my last teleport, I think. Anyway, I think I can go find the statue now. Can I get, that's not a really good way of getting close to it, is there? Apart from just like running around, getting uh, close the slow way. But no, this crystal plate arm is good. Can I enchant it? I don't think I can. I haven't got my enchant armor or my enchant weapon for that matter. Either of those ones I could uh, definitely do with. Right, well, at least it's going to have a harder time freezing me now. Now that I've got one kill resist. It's always great finding, like, Crystal Plate armor that comes with pre-existing with Resist, because then, um... Because I know that's the problem. Like, Crystal Plate armor is really protective, so it can be really good, but also, having no Resist on it, it can be kind of brutal, um, trying to get some Resist, but if it comes with one, it's not too bad. Uh, I do want Strands. Gets me a little bit more evasion. Hopefully a little bit more damage on this whip as well. Alright, there we go. This is something. Do I care about Demon Blade? I'll pull it out of here, but I don't really care about Demon Blade. Care about the road resistance. Alright, I think I'm just ready to leave. No, the ice cave was very worthwhile. Uh, dropped the leather armor. There was fatter in the Orcish Mines, so I might just go back to the Orcish Mines. I oh, yeah, found to eventually freeze the orc. I thought like a single basic orc would be enough to stop Fatter from doing some freezing. Do I go? I think I go back to the staircase here now that I'm marked. Uh, I don't think I see anything too tough coming along, just like basic ogres, that sort of thing. Yeah, nothing here that I can't just bash up, alright. 2% are confused? I doubt I'm gonna get confused at 2%, right? I don't know, it could happen, it definitely could. Like, there's enough of them in there, there was maybe one. Four of them all trying to confuse me at once or something? Oh, I need that dude to stop summoning. Do I just wait around? I might just wait around a few turns and see if it... Oh, it's still there? I thought I'd waited around long enough. Let's just wait around a little bit longer then. See if that gets rid of the summons. I don't even know what's in that room, but I don't seem to be able to get in that area behind the wardrobe. I could probably go around the long way. Oh, there we go. That's around the long way. And it got a good old identifier. I think that's my only identifier scroll. I'm going to do some scrolls. There we go. Enchant weapon. Do I do my... Um, what do I actually enchant up? I think I might go with the demon whip. I kind of like the demon whips. I mean, the other one's holy wrath, but no, I think I'll just go with the demon whip. Um, get that one nice and enchanted. There we go, plus five demon whip. That's pretty solid weapon. What is the damage on that one anyway? 28? Because the uh, demon whips attack really fast. If you can get any sort of slaying... With them, they can make them even better. I have no fire resist right now. And it's on nine, no, 7% on the paralysis. That could definitely be a way that this character dies. Hmm. Oh, well. What do I actually want? I mean, I want fighting, right? I want armor, because I actually got really good armor now. But I don't know there's too much else for me to get for a while.
Uh, until we find a shield, that is, of course. Once I get a shield, it's uh, going to be trading pure shields for a little while there. I don't think I... I don't know. I guess I could uh, trade a shield in preparation, but I don't think I've even seen one on, like, dungeon level 13, have I? Because that had the entrance to the vaults, which often has uh, shields if you're going to get one. Uh-oh. Yep, there goes the paralysis. Alright, check out the armor shop, but it's probably nothing. Let's see, there's... Oh, there's a shield. Hold on. Oh, that's not nothing. There's a shield. I might grab that one. So I've got a plus two kite shield. Let's put it on. Um, but that means I definitely got to get the shields going. I'll get them all the way to... 80? Too much? I don't know. I'll give it a try. I might stop it before then and get some other skills. That's not an escape hatch. Where's the actual staircase? All the way back there. I think it's worth going all the way back. Because I saw one of the oh, sorcerers, which if that summons anything nasty, I would have just be able to go upstairs. <laughs> Speaking of summoning things, they brought out like a fiery dude, which I'm not ready to fight just yet. Because my zero fire is that would probably not go well. Hey, St. Roka. What can I do? Can I paralyze the St. Roka? I can't. Can I... Okay, I guess you ought to do melee, I think. Or does this shadow even hit them at all? You feel like it does nothing? Like, I'm not sure. Yeah, because I think it's just got like a plus zero weapon, so I don't even know if it does that much. Oh, ow. What is this meant to do the curari? What else have I got? A false summoning. Got a net. I might do the net. Let's take a look at it. I mean, Theria is heading. It's got a plus zero demon board, which doesn't do that much damage. Oh, uh, we don't have about a 70% chance to hit me, but I've got like no evasion right now. <laughs> I might have to do a healing potion. Yeah, I think so. There we go, but I got Saint Roker in the end. It was very close to be able to take her out without the healing potion, but just not quite there in the end. Oh, I maybe could have... I don't know, I'm never getting a chance to do my... Uh, a phonic marionette on anyone, but hey, maybe I'll get a chance eventually. Because you've got to have a, like, a tough spellcast, and then you've got to have a, something else as well that you want to damage in there, that you want to use the spellcaster on. Ooh. Let's just... Treat one of these, will die. There we go, get out of there. I mean, I could try it on this guy, see if it does it, I think. Okay, yeah, it did a little bit of summoning, it paralyzed that guy. I don't know if that was, uh, that was useful or not, but it did something. Oh. Oh, you feel like the past, uh... DBL hits is way better with the, like the previous shadow attack. The previous shadow attack was only plus zero weapon though as well though, right? Unless, I mean, I guess it didn't have to fill a physical space, right? Oh, this character isn't well suited. Uh, God, you get this better with casters now and stabbers too. I mean, it was always meant to be like a stabber god, but yeah, I mean, the, the silent aura could be good with casters. Wait, is orange crystal plate armor? I... That's plus eight. It's pretty enchanted, but... 5,000 gold is no chance I ever afford that one, I don't think. I'll probably just go with the boots, I think. Plus three boots. Oh, fire resistance. Those are excellent. Those are exactly what this character needed. What else have we got? Scotch Arbless. Oh, whatever. That's so expensive though. 5,000 gold? No one's going to be able to afford that one. 
No, it's the same sort of thing to what I got. I guess it's got clarity and it's got an eight more armor class, so probably pretty good. Although, Wild Swords 8, yeah, I mean, if I could afford it, I would totally grab it. But my camera is gone, just at least. <laughs> It's really good on, like, uh, spellcasters, too. In fact, Dwarven spellcasters, to be specific, because they can still cast when they've got heavy armor on fairly well. None of those staircases worth taking. I think I've done every way up. Hmm, looks like, okay. So I need to go to dungeon level 13, but I need to be very careful how to get to dungeon level 13, because of that. Okay, that's, uh, that's the right way down. Oh, how does the no inch work? Yeah, that's true. I mean, this character doesn't have a lot of it, so they would have a bit more trouble casting. But if I had have started earlier on, I probably could have turned this background to a caster if I wanted to. Um, Still missing the poison resist, right? So I can't quite do the lair just yet, but I've got most of the things I need. Oh, hey, Rupert. If I had lighted up, he shouldn't be able to paralyze me. It doesn't stop trying, but he should be able to actually succeed on it. And I should just be able to fight him in this corridor. Oh, he's, of course he's berserk, which is not a surprise. I don't think I can paralyze him right, pretty short. Nope, 8%. Ooh, ow. I'm gonna read a summoning. That did not work very well. Oh, he's almost dead. What can I do to him? I should have started with Curari, shouldn't I? I'm doing this completely wrong. I mean, you might die for the poison anyway. Uh... Wait, if I slow him down with the Curari... I'd hit him with a Warping now that I've got him out in the open. There we go. That takes him out. Uh... Pull this guy around the... Oh. Yeah, I think I might be able to escape now. I wasn't able to really escape before very well because there was a guy with the barbs around that I had to get rid of. Um, Both your feet doesn't try to hit me. It was one of those. All right, there we go. I've got her upstairs. I think this guy's going to stop her hitting me with anything serious. So I should just be able to take her out. Oh, do you still need strength for armor with mountain dwarves? Or can you just spam in to use crystal plate with no strength? Yeah, armor still helps. They just get half the armor encumbrance. And the armor um, spellcasting penalty is like armor covered squared, so it's like one quarter of the penalty from wearing the heavy armor, so you can end up getting like ninth level spells and crystal plate armor by the end of the game type thing. I mean, I've had a character, I think it was actually fairly recently that managed something like that with Shatter in crystal plate armor. And I've had a summoner that got like uh, summoned well, Dragon's Cool going in Crystal Plate armor and stuff. I've definitely had some really high level spells and very good armor. Oh, the Animate Armor. Yeah, that's, I actually have done a dwarf with Animate Armor. It was crazy. But I got super lucky and found Crystal Plate Armor just like lying on dungeon level 6 or something. And it was absolutely ridiculous having early animated Crystal Plate Armor. <laughs> but no, if you can get her, then it's actually pretty good. Um, in fact, it might almost be worth getting on this character, even with my by tenant or something. Woo. That, that is multiple Rashazes, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell with Rashazes, whether it's like one Rashaz is mirrored itself or whether it's multiple Rashazes. But I think that might have been multiple. Then they started mirroring up afterwards. So yeah, pretty sure it was multiple. Oh, I don't remember getting throwing as well. Man, there's a whole bunch of skills I forgot to get. No wonder I felt like so many of my skills had, like, uh, maxed out. I didn't know what I was meant to be training because I completely forgot about throwing. And at the time, I didn't have a shield, so. Does that make sense? Uh. Oh, I could swap with the spider's nest, but no poison resist. Hmm. Let me just quickly check for resist poison, but I could be doing well those without.
I, oh, hey, Rock said, I don't think I want to dub. Um, I've got the crystal plate armor, so I don't need to statue for myself up or anything. I know sometimes the characters that don't find good armor, I'll definitely put them in the statue form. Especially things like Onis and, I don't know, things that just can't wear normal armor. That sort of thing is very common. Um, let me start working on that throwing. I just get like 12 points at the start, but I'll probably eventually want to get up to six, uh, 16 or something. Oh... Good old mage here, yeah, so it's got bottom bag, but oh, the 8% of the paralysis, hmm. Yeah, the paralysis is a real worry. Getting paralyzed and dying is never a good way to lose a character. Especially if you're like full health and you get paralyzed and you're dead by the end of it, that's always so sad. And it's happened before to me, at least when I've been close to full health, but what's the one? What's all my piety? Sure. I'll give it all my piety. Hopefully I can get my dismetal spidey bags. So we've got a scarf of harm, fire resist. Got a, mm, I got a cloak, but it's not that special. Boots of flight, but I got the fire resist ones. Hat of stealth. Got the plus one helmet. What else have we got? Plus four ring mail of resist electric. Hey, these might be good. Plus one gloves of resist electric regen. Yeah, my gloves are nothing. So those are good at least. Leather on fire resist, we've got a cloak here, poison resist, sea invisible, minus four dex, that's good, I need some poison resist, so I'll put that one on. Um, what else have we got here, we've got some more gloves, cold resist, four strength, what would my one again? They will resist negative regen, ooh, that's actually a difficult choice. Regen's quite a nice, so is cold resist and strength. I might go for the regen right now, but the other one's definitely an option. I don't care about the plate too much, the leather armor. What else have we got? We've got a tower shield? A 12 shield value. If I put that on, it's probably a bit heavier at the moment. 15, yeah. I gotta get, gotta get some more skill before that's worthwhile. Alright. Well, that was uh, that was probably worth all my pie there, I'd imagine. Let's drop some of the things, so I don't really need the boots of flying. Scarf harm's a bit silly because I'm relying on my for like the poison resist. I don't need that scale mail. Don't need the leather armor. Oh, don't need the old gloves, the basic ones. Or the robe. I don't know why I'm spreading things out on the ground, but I like to like spread things out so you can see every single item. Of course, I don't need the cloak. Just plate armor, it's not even that special. Uh, I'll keep that set of gloves, because that could be good. What else have we got? Dex ring? I don't think I need. Alright, well, I'll get my scrolls back. Oh, so I think I still got the option to turn off scrolls, don't I? Um, hmm, when I drop them or something. Oh, well. There we go, at least they're back with all to pick up now. I don't know, I should probably just get rid of that option, it's, it's like, uh, useful sometimes to take things off while you pick up when I drop them, but I feel like it's enough of a pain with the troves that it's not quite worthwhile. Because it always is, like, the, the potions of scrolls that I drop to get a trove. Also, I got the poison resist now, I can do my lair entrance whenever I want to, so uh, now's probably a good time, actually. Uh, not entrance, ex- then? Last level ending, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, there was a fire dragon and a swamp dragon, because you always get, like, the swamp dragon to here. I think the- I'm not sure if it's always a fire dragon, it might be. He did a decent chunk of damage. Huh. Uh, I don't think I can cure it, can I? No, it's poison resist. Okay. I think that I might actually berserk it up because I'm not doing quite as well as I'd like. Oh, no. Probably fine if I petrify, actually. Doesn't mean I end up slowed, but I got rid of the fire dragon, which was the main one I had to deal with there. 
I was like, oh, no, no, no. But yeah, thankfully that one wasn't too bad. The Swamp Dragon was fine because I have the poison resist. So being paralyzed, uh, petrified next to it wasn't the end of the world, thankfully. I don't actually know if I've got any teleports left. Oh, I do, apparently. So I can teleport out if I need to, but I didn't need to. Whoa. That's a lot of dudes. Um... Try paralyze that one. Give me a bit of a chance to deal with some of these, but. Alright, fire dragon down is just a bit of money. I don't know if there's. Is there anything on my shopping list? There's a there back book. What does that even got? It's like the spouse of Jail's Gravant. I mean, it smells like could get. Alright, where do I want to go? I've got to either go to the swamp or the spider nest. I think I might go to the swamp. I think that should be fine. No, oh, whoops. Ah. Of course they push me off my staircase, don't they? Um, do a fear, but why don't you get rid of that many of these guys? I just hold them back long enough for me to get back to my staircase. Okay. What am I wearing? I'm wearing beige and willpower. There were boots of flight, but I, hmm. Do I have another source of fire resist? I got that scarf of harm fire resist. No, I can't do that because I gotta have my poison resist on it here. And that's on my cloak right now, so... Just there were like the boots of flight, but I'm not sure they quite work out in here, unfortunately. Thus it would be to have a bit of flight. Because you get the penalties on your melee attacks when you're standing in the water, which is what, like a 25% chance of missing or something. Um, I don't think I need the Ring of Ice anymore. Now that I've actually got Cold Resist. Alright, well, I gotta remember that most creatures here are faster than me. Those Hydras certainly are faster than me. Uh, let's stand back here to move up to me. Oh, it's gonna might up. Ow. That was doing worse than I like, but I can probably poison this guy up. And now it's slow to might it. I guess that's some sort of combination. Kind of, I, I sort of can't sell the mind to think getting it slow because it's all the same sort of um, reduction of damage is going to increase. Okay, so got a hand axe sort of poison resist there, which isn't that great. I did start with axes, but it's just a hand axe. Oh, do I want polymorph? Um, I can read the enchant weapon, so I can pick it up if I want to. It's just not that likely to be useful. Alright, well that's level 1 of Swamp done. I don't think it was too bad. There were like a few things in there that were a little bit nasty. Um, Yeah, the Swamp can always be a bit nasty if you get surrounded by the wrong creatures or pulled off a staircase at a bad time. Because you got the swamp worms that can pull you off. The alligators can pull you off too. I don't know. I think there's something else maybe as well that can pull you off staircases. I feel like swamp's all about all the things that mess with your placement. And of course you can have the alert day and hydra at the end with all its heads. And that can be a real problem if you don't have a phantom mirror. Which I don't think I do have anything like a phantom mirror. Unfortunately with this character. And even the phantom mirror doesn't always work. Sometimes the uh, alert day and hydra just kills up your mirrored one before it gets a turn. Look at brilliance. Hmm. I don't have any spells so it's not currently useful.
If I kill the swamp worm first, and then I kill the sprig, and there we go, nothing will get mited up that way. Because if I kill them in the other order, the sprig would get, not the sprig, the swamp worm would get mited up, although a swamp worm probably is fine getting mited. Uh, so you level 3 of the swamp. Level 4 is always a lot nastier because it has a whole lot of creatures. Uh, dragged its water to give me sort of penalties to my attacks, but that's fine. Uh, oh, good. Another enchant weapon. At least this place has been good for the enchant weapon scrolls, though. I actually don't know how long I'd be carrying around one of the ones on me. Going to be carrying it around for a little while for all I know. What I actually need is, I think, some enchant armor, because I've got the crystal plate armor, so if I found enchant armor, I'd, like, use it straight away. But I guess that's just a matter of fighting some identifiers. I don't think I see any of those or anything. Oh. What is this? It's a guardian spirit. Yeah, it's definitely one of the lower tier ramblers. I've used it before. Some characters would do all right with it. Like, uh, I don't know, some of those early feelings and stuff. Ooh, acid is good. I could use uh, just some of that. Do I need to resist corrosion? I didn't have that one right. Probably dropped the amnesia, though. It's not very useful. Um... I don't like this. Um, I guess I'll warp this guy. Yeah, I don't want to sitting back and throwing fire at me, though. That's always a worse situation when I can't get it close to something. Alright, don't need one more level to swap, but of course the toughest level. This could have, like, half the enemies just on this one level here. We'll see where they are, though. Sometimes they're all around the staircase at the start, other times they're kind of a little bit further away. Ooh, it's a spriggan. Oh, is this some sort of abyssal kind of theme? What have we got going here? There's definitely some sort of theme going here. Some of these ones have like the quark sakes, which is kind of bad because then you get mal mutated. You have to uh, use some of your mutation potions or something to cure it back up. Hey, I've got the little shadow dude back because I finally um, managed to actually get my piety back a little bit. There's four scrolls, could be a jar down for all, no all I know. What other scrolls have we got? I got, I actually got a number of piles. It could be anything. Uh, I can't easily paralyze one of these guys. What can I do? I can kill one of them. That's easy enough. Probably cure Ari, the other one. All right. Oh, it's poison resist. Never mind. I can't cure Ari yet. Uh, how many teleports have I got left? Four of them, I see. We can vulnerability and paralyze. It's probably worthwhile. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's give it a try. It's a paralysis charge should be about 50% or something. 59%? Okay. I'll actually take out the guy that's paralyzed. Excellent. There we go. The Chaos Dude. If there was a Lunar Hydra on this level, what sort of Lunar Hydra would it be? <laughs> Can you, you can't get like a little chaos the and hydra, can you? I don't think so. Or an abyssal one of some kind. I guess it would just be the regular variety. Because you get like the undead ones. You do you ever get a simulacrum one? I'm not sure you do. I know you definitely get a zombie one and a skeleton one. How's that guy gonna save his oak for probably some time? Okay. 
Probably hit it with the acid, but it's only a 50% chance I'll start working. I think I actually do teleport out here. Yeah, because it was just too too much damage was berserk. Oh. Um Not a good state to be fighting these. I'm gonna teleport again, but unfortunately, it's not guaranteed to put me something good. Oh, that'll do it. That'll uh, that will get me. You think I'll teleport inside the vault? Yeah, that's definitely an option there. There's a bit of a worry. That I would teleport and put me in somewhere absolutely worse than where I was. Okay, I got three horns out of that guy. Well, that checks out. That's a number that you should be able to get out of that guy. Uh, I'm to that mage. It does something. So uh, I think it hates itself up, but it got confused. I think, but it's sort of the chaos, which isn't too bad. I'm only level seventeen. Is that? Usually, I think I'm level 18 by the time I get a rune, but that's fine. And level 70 is not too bad. It's just I, I know that because it was a, one of the tournament challenges was to get a rune before reach. Uh, was it before or was it? Was it before level 18 or something? I think you could. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Oh, uh. So I just noticed when I get a rune at level 17 now. Oh, that's an agonizing touch. I think I'm gonna get a bit of willpower. Good, it's down to 1% on the paralysis as well now, which is good. Should I like resist negative or resist fire that I need to deal with that guy without too many problems? There we go. So something dropped a uh, robe of willpower. Alright. I want to just run straight up to this guy because I feel like that might try some other guys. Oh, where did he go? I guess I just gotta run kind of straight up to it. Actually, as it turns out, because uh, otherwise I'm gonna take too much damage. And it does put the briar patches behind you to stop you running away as well. What does this wizard even do? It's like the boulder called Searing Ray Vitrified Haste. Oh, apparently if I uh, took it, like, made it cast spells for me, it might be able to haste me up or something. Interesting. I think this is alright with the Blizzard Demon. Okay, swamp is done. The swamp, I'm not going to say that was easy, because that was definitely not easy there, especially... Clearing those guys out at the end. But anyway, I think it's time for... Is it time for the spider nest? I guess I'll try the spider nest. I do have the resist I need, apart from maybe resist electric, but that's fine. Hopefully. Um, how's that throwing coming along? Ten... No. Oh. No! I got unarmed instead of throwing. What am I doing? No, I needed the throwing in here. Oh, that's a little bit of a waste, but oh well. Because I'm never going to use that unarmed skill. I'm always going to be using my... Demon whoop here. Oh well, that's fine. I just it would have been nice to be able to throw boomerangs at uh orb spiders and stuff. Or maybe they add a disarmament drug so you get disarmed to get a chance to actually use it. Yeah, maybe. I'm just gonna stop the Shields on 15, I think. You know, there is a captain's cutlass, but I'm not sure if enemies can use that on you to disarm you or not, because uh, you can certainly disarm enemies with it. What do we have? I want to do enchant armor. We've got fog. I mean, that's something. Oh, Mioglotto. all those creatures that he's trying to bring in here. I'm not seeing a lot of them. No, he's corrupting, but it's not doing anything. I don't know why. 
But they should bring in a whole bunch of creatures when he does that. And that's what usually what makes him really, really nasty. But now his creatures, he's kind of not that bad. I mean, he can do some melee damage, but really not a lot. This Venom's actually pretty useful in here. I'm going to eventually rebrand, but for now, the Venom's actually a really good brand. I feel like, uh, well, I mean, it's half the spies of poison resist, but the other half, like, vulnerable to poison, so. Yeah, it definitely works pretty well. Can okay, now mislead enemies with my. Oh, swapping place with my shadow. I don't really use the shadow step at all with this character. It's wizardry resist corrosion to see invisible. I mean, that's better than my basic resist corrosion. Do I actually want to put that on right now or not really? Seamus was kind of nice. I feel like I need a huge amount of willpower in here. I might give it a try. Five or whatever these are. Noise. Oh, come on. I wonder if the noise is quieter because I would just met us. A lot of dudes. Um... I don't want to keep it getting netted up, but I think this is going fine. Yeah, it looks like it's going just fine. So I got a ring of... Oh, it's got random slaughter, but it's got two fire resists, three uh, willpower, four easy to resist the ledge rank. Man, I hate how this got slaughtered, because that's kind of amazing. Um, Do I put it on anyway? Got AC on it. No, I don't think I put it on here, but I think I do put that on in the vaults where it would be nice to have um, some willpower, I think. Oh, you would put it on? Yeah. No, the slow, but it's got so much stuff. I think I do put it on the vaults to um, get the willpower because getting marked up all the time in the vaults is kind of bad. And maybe the Elven Halls, but I don't think I have it on anywhere else. Oh, so tempting. Brown weapon? Uh, I'll leave the brown weapon for now. I'll come back for it later. Definitely want to have the poison in here. Whoa. It's like seven orb spiders here. You know, those orb spiders could have that staircase. I think I'm going to find another one. Yeah, there's no way that would just be like really lethal if you stuck around there. Is it that bush? It's a, that's a kind of a terrifying ambush. Um, <laughs> that would be all spiders. All right. How's my throw going? It's up to six, which is all right. Not as good as it could have been if I had eventually been sensible with my skill training and not accidentally got the wrong thing. But still not terrible. Uh, wait, is my little... Little ghost dude do the throwing as well. Oh, I hate all those guys are radiating me. I should have got all the Kiraris. Oh, second radiator does so much damage. Not to mention the fact that if it gets you enough times, you get mob mutated as well. All right. Oh, there's another one of these. Oh, the spiders. Not a surprise, though, given the, given the ambush that I saw earlier. There's going to be a ton of those orb spiders. <laughs> yeah, this little dude does spray out the boomerang whenever I can spray out the boomerang. Otherwise, it uses my little demon whip. Why does six corrode is kind of a lot? Can I just... Wait, how fast is this guy? It's not fast good. I think I could just go to the staircase here. And then get rid of some of this corrosion upstairs. Because otherwise I'm not going to do so well fighting these guys. Uh...
What's the spider doing? It's just jumping away from me. I saw two orb spiders. I think I could probably still go. Now I might take a different staircase instead of the one with two orb spiders. Well, I probably should have actually checked where that staircase led, make sure I didn't leave into the area with all the orb spiders. Although to be fair, that probably doesn't have all the orb spiders anymore. I reckon they've definitely spread out over the level by now, given that I've seen like half of them already. I think I. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna berserk up. <sighs> What's the correct thing to do here? Can I paralyze this dude, this berserk? Hmm, I got there at the end, but that was not great. I might do a. F oh, fear's not gonna work on this one. Do I teleport? Okay, let me think about this. I can see the staircase right there. I think I do a summoning scroll. Uh. Uh. Kind of a shame to use the summoning, but with those guys being berserk, I don't know if I really had too much other choices because I wasn't really getting to the summoning scroll, uh, not the summoning scroll, the staircase properly or anything. I feel like running for it would have been a bit of a problem. Like, mm. I think the dude out of vanity with the spur rag. There we go. I know, I do feel like this little shadow dude could do a little bit of a buff. I mean, it's okay. It's kind of like the old one, like, where it's just a plus zero weapon. I feel like it might be a bit better if it actually, like, cared about the brand and stuff on your weapon. It'd be nice, anyway. I had to use something that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Definitely had to use something. I'm not sure what. I mean, there's something to the trick. Oh, I'm gonna do another scroll. Blinking. Ooh, nice. Finally got that one. Because that one can save you in certain situations where other scrolls aren't gonna quite do the trick. Oh no, not the valley, eh? Kind of managed to type get them out of view there. How many guys are going to be on this level that try and corrode you up? I mean, I guess they're not too bad. I got the resist corrosion at least. Uh... I'll just pull this guy back because I know it's fast to me so I can just pull it back just fine. Alright, level 18. We've got a book of cantrips. What does this character actually need? I just gotta gotta keep it exploring this place, I guess. Uh, minus two heroes is not the worst. Minus four. Oh, minus six. I mean, I think it's still fine. Don't want to build up too much, though. I think I get all the way over there instead of ending up there. It's not even... I mean, it is fast, I guess. I guess we could have moved a couple of spaces while I was waiting one turn or something. Uh, oh, I can't even get away from this Entropy Weaver. Uh, oh, actually, the Corrosion wore off as I was fighting it, so it wasn't too bad. That's kind of what I was worried about. I was going to fight with, like, lots of Corrosion. What's this? Tommage? But do I really have no Enchant Armor? Well, I might have won, but, like, I don't have a stag with char number or something. That's really sad. Yeah, well. We don't always get a char number, I guess. Uh, 
think it might be worth. Has it actually? It might not be worth backing up actually. Oh, that might be a terrible idea. <laughs> well, they did take a reasonable amount of damage getting to this corridor. I mean, it still works, but it. Mm. Let's bring this guy back. He's gonna yeah, get these guys all stimuli tripped. It's just not too much of a problem, I don't think. What am I even wearing? I'm wearing the whole. The invisible resist corrosion one. I actually kind of do need that right now, I think. Um, yeah, with Ghost Moss, uh, Entropy Weavers, I think it probably is definitely worthwhile. Alright, well, one more level of doing spiders here. So we've got... Moss of Wrath. Um... If it turns this guy berserk, I don't think that's too bad. It's funny getting an orb spider to hit an orb spider with orb destruction, but... Okay, yeah, gotta be a bit careful with having two orb spiders around. Um, ow. Still fine, but... Okay, what can I do to this guy? Can I get him with a paralysis or something? It's only 50% chance. I might try it anyway. All right, well, we know where the... We know the creatures are somewhere around there, so I might just exclude that area off and go do the rest of the level before I go fight all the creatures on this level. Oh, before I go fight the ending uh, rude vault... Another one of these Moss of Wrath. Um, what's the plan here? I can try damage it, but I don't think that works very effectively. I think I just kill some of these guys. Hmm. Yeah, the guy for Zoki is not a huge surprise, but I think it's fine with just being the one guy. At least it wasn't one of these uh, Emperor Scorpions or something that would have zoned up on me. Because I reckon that would require me to teleport out if it was one. Alright, what well, I can do... Oh, I'll do a scroll again. Hey, I'm going to climb into the Jard Armor. Good. So I can finally go and jump my Crystal Plate Armor. I can jump my gloves. I can jump basically anything here. I can jump my cloak. I mean, I got tons of stuff to jump. I'm going to jump my Crystal Plate Armor. Um, also, what's this requirement offering me? Class 2 gloves and strats? I don't have good gloves. I got, like, gloves of regen. What else is offering? Ring of fire resist? Or staff? I don't even need the money. I don't know. Let's hold on to that. The ring of fire resist is okay. Anyway, another enchant armor. So I can do my... Crystal plate armor again? You got a 38 armor class, which I think is pretty good. Uh, hmm. I just get a bit of fog out, but that doesn't seem to actually be working, does it? Ooh. Oh, not being held on this net is a problem. I'm gonna get these guys with a bit of fear, but I'm probably gonna have to... Uh... Actually, I got everyone with fear, but I should probably still teleport out. I don't know if I needed to teleport out or whether I could have just run for it or something, but... There are like multiple entrances in here. Um Hold up, I got a fire resist right. 
I think that's enough for me to be able to emulate these guys just fine. No more people to round to see how that goes. There's like fireballs going off, all right. So they blow up, it seems, after I uh, blinked them around, which is fine. Uh... That's really funny, just like throwing them around and having them explode in random spots around me. Alright, let's go back into this rude chamber and see what we've got. It seems to be a reasonably open one. They just kind of throws a whole ton of creatures at you, but they don't seem to be individually very tough creatures that's throwing at you. I guess it's a general spider way anyway. I'll probably also get rid of those excludes. I don't think they're doing much at the moment. Kind of, I think it stopped me going down one of the paths. Ooh. Can't really just run forwards, but yeah, just managed to summon a number of things. Hey, is that actually the first time I've been confused, isn't it? And, um,. It's hard to spot this, which is kind of a surprise given how many tarot tells I've come across. But I guess my good armor class kind of keeps them out most of the time. Oh, um, how do I get rid of that one? I don't know if there's too much I can do. I mean, I can zap these with a wand of acid. No, nah, it's not going to work, is it? Okay, what can I do? Can I... Can I pop at this dude? Is that like a thing? Good. And then it brings down some spiders. I actually got a... I feel like I got a good use out of my puppeting there. Oh, hey, Sally and Retomic as well. How are you both going there? Hey, finally got some throwing. After actively getting the unarmed. What do I want? I'm a skill, probably. Um, maybe a little bit of fighting. Yeah, I think fighting and armor is the way to go now. All right. Why do I like a pop at one of these dudes? I mean, I guess it just drains magic and no one here has really got any magic to drain or anything. I don't know quite how that works. Yeah, I think this is going just fine. That you just uh, spell is crazy. Yeah, just getting the... Uh, I mean, usually it doesn't work that effectively, but it's very situationally, it could actually be really good. Just getting to pop at someone... Oh, Rampage Boots? I still have the boots like Fire Resist, right? Also Scarf Resistance, but I got the Poison Resist Cloak. I don't think I need to pop at this one. I think I can just hide where I am currently. Whoops. Uh, oh, the obvious structures are getting through to me. Okay. What can I do with these guys? Can I just, like, paralyze this dude? That's not too bad that I can just throw my boomerangs at the other one. There we go, that's better. There's a lot of brood mothers. I think that might be the theme of the ending I've got today, is that uh, full-on brood mother ending with every single brood mother you could ever imagine. But it looks like I'm done here. I was gonna I was gonna put on the sketchy ring, wasn't I? Instead of Instead of maybe Sea Invisible, Wizardry, Resist Corrosion. Yeah, I think I was going to put on the Sketchy Ring instead of that one. And that way I got lots of willpower. I've got, well, tons of Fire Resist. Um, anyway, let's go to the vaults with that. Hopefully not a mistake. I mean, I feel like I'd rather get slowed than get marked, honestly. Um, alright, let's pull these guys up. 
to the corridor. I think I should be fine one v one in corridors because I got well probably one v two whatever it is. I got tons of regen. I got a shield. I yeah, kind of got all like the things that help you out in situations like that. I don't think I can stop that game recalling if it wants to recall, which it does. They both want to recall. I mean, I do actually have a chance to stop it. There we go. Uh, this isn't working. You're gonna blow these guys up. Got tons of fire just now, so like. Oh, whoops. I got slowed. I slowed did trigger. Can I paralyze this guy? I just like vulnerability at first. I reckon it's worthwhile. Let's cure Ariat. Slow it down to my rate. Excellent. I see they've got all my health back. Basically, in that time between finding the creatures and the new ones coming along. So, we've got something on the ground. The good old ring bell, of course. They're going to keep compete with the crystal plate armor, though. All right, level 19. That's all right. Have I missed anywhere else? I don't think I have. No, I think that's probably about the right sort of level for where I'm doing. <sighs> Gotta walk into the middle of this room. That's often what the best thing to do with the slime creatures. Is. It's like, oh, you can't try and pull them back, but they often just seem to march so much, but you, ever you try and pull them back. So yeah, just walking into the center of the room is often not a terrible plan. Uh, if I just close that door, there we go. It's right up next to me. Wait, what's that? Hold up. Resist poison, but it's minus cold resist. Or gloves. I got my regen ones. Doesn't have int, but I'm not a spellcaster. No, I don't think so. It would allow me to change my cloak out, but I think I'd rather just have my cloak of poison resist in order to get poison resist, honestly. Also, poison resist is not that important in the vaults. I could totally swap to something else in here if I wanted to. Although, I don't think I've got a scarf of repulsion or anything, because that would probably not be terrible. But that little physical shadow, at least it's able to kind of hold the light and... Stop creatures getting up to me sometimes, but I don't know. It doesn't do it that often. I feel like, I definitely feel like that could be better with spells, honestly. Come on, I want the Centaur Warrior to get up to me. Um, we'll see how good I am against missiles. I've got a little bit of shield. I've got lots of armor class. Man, why do I have so much armor class all of a sudden? I know what... Oh, am I trading armor? Yeah, yeah, I'm trading a little bit of armor. I think I got a little bit more enchant armor. I don't know why I was mad you were exploring that corridor with all the... Like the wonky corridor. It doesn't seem like quite the right thing to do. Are these guys polymorph me? Probably not, right? Only because I'm wearing the questionable ring and it's giving me willpower that's stopping those guys. Also, do I want to rebrand? I kind of, um, I kind of tempted. I can't just scroll for brand, uh, search for brand that would give me everything. So, yeah, let's, let's give it a try, see what happens. I feel like, I mean, heavy works. What else works? Uh, flaming, cold, they both work. Freezing would be pretty nice. What do I get? Freezing? Okay, well, uh, I mean, it said freezing would be pretty nice, and I got freezing instantly, so I'm happy with that one. Hey, Azel. Um, I think it's fighter. I don't think there's anything, no, nothing special I have to do to take her out or anything. Gonna recall some more guys. Seal the staircase. 
Okay, if it's gonna do that, I'm gonna have to emulate a thing. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, that got rid of those guys pretty quickly, but I think just leaving those guys to build up would have been a bit of a problem. Oh, hey, Jory. Uh, what do I even have they're gonna do? I don't think I can paralyze them, right? I can't cure Rari, him. Uh... Summoning Berserk? I mean, these are options. I don't know about a Berserk, so that seems pretty questionable. I gotta try and get it with some acid? You can be corroded, right? Oh, you think Crystal Spear him? Can I get him to Crystal Spear himself? Uh... I think I can already get him to crystal spear other people, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not even letting me use the ability, so apparently he's got nothing that's, uh... Okay. I think that's okay. There we go, make him explode, that'll do the trick. Oh, try it, yeah. It doesn't, doesn't let me for some reason. It'd be fun to crystal spear, but definitely give it a try if it let me. But no, it doesn't seem to let me do the crystal spear. Oh, good on Satchful. That's like the same one I've seen, because I got wrong sand like around this thing somewhere. Oh, really? Gotta, gotta lock me in immediately? Can I burn these guys up? Wait, every time I use the emulation, do I find a new one? Because I still got four of them. That's a good sign. <laughs> I am actually using them up, right? Yeah, I am actually using them up. I'm just finding new one slots in here, apparently. Oh, I don't want to be blocked for getting the mage because they can just keep on spamming the summons. I haven't really had too much problems with the mage and spamming summons, but I know they can. Yeah, actually, I can't think of a situation where I've had problems with that before, but... Doesn't mean I haven't had problems with that before. I don't have resist electric, I think, of my questionable slow ring, so... I've been acting like I have. Yeah, I do have it. Otherwise, I might need to use, like, fog and stuff for those guys that, uh, do the electricity and stuff. So I can enchant up. I'll do my crystal plate armor again. I think I just keep on doing my crystal plate armor until it's done. Ah, uh, no, I'll keep the evasion. I think the evasion is probably just maybe a little bit better with this character. In fact, I got quite a lot of AC already. Yeah, let's just go down. Ooh, distant wind. And a mark density, aren't I? Uh, very just no okay, gonna add to magic map. That's fine. Where's my revelations? This one can be kind of tough, but we'll see how it goes this time. Oh, there's willpower. There's a there's a less questionable willpower here. It's got minus five decks, so the less questionable resist electric here. Resist electric cold resist. I don't think I grab any of those right now, but they're definitely options. Okay, where can I go? That place is that place. That place. Now these are really standing out to me. Ooh, it's gotta be this one, right? For the statues? I think so. And I think uh did it say it was like very distant or something? That looks like it's more on the distant side. And now it's nearby. Yes, yeah, definitely this one. All right, what can I leave outside so I can leave the? Do I need the cold resist? Sure. Well, also dump the resistance on the ground. All right, what else do we got? We got. I dropped the less question for willpower because I can buy a better one, but I need it. Probably leave the polymorph. I can just read the identify and just turn it to whatever, right? Okay, I can leave the noise. 
Uh, brilliant to Brosia. Okay, I can lead to Brilliant. So let's just go and see how this goes. What's that uh, structure to the bottom left? What do you mean? Like, uh, one of these things? These are just statues or something else? Bottom left. Wait, that's right. Oh, this structure. I see what you're saying. The trap area. Not just a, one of the trap balls. Those are nasty. Like, you just get so mutated with all the uh, random contamination it gives you. Alright. I am more quiet in here, which could be nice. Oh, barbed me already? In fact, that actually could make a huge difference in here, the dismantles is quietness. Because that could be a problem, like, uh, get, try to get a big group of creatures. Oh. Can I ask this guy... ...to summon for me? I can too, interesting. But when it dies, I keep the summons, apparently. Because I guess this is if I did the spell. How long do these last? I guess not forever. I was resist electric harm, spirit guarding amulet. No, it's got too far into this, though. Wait, I still got them? I don't know if I keep these or... I don't know how long I keep these for. I mean, the summons, right? They should go away. Oh, there's a horrible vault. Yep, definitely the one with the, the traps. The one with the time you landed by casting summon forest and teleporting out. Wow, did that... I mean, if that actually worked, that's not a terrible strategy. I have collected before because it had, I think it had some sort of item that I needed for whatever challenge I was doing. I can't even remember. I know, I know I've collected before, though. And I got horribly malmutated, of course, so I had to reset that. But yeah, it's generally not worth, worth the pain. Oh, that's must to be able to get that summoning dude to summon guys for you. Yeah, that is really nice. I feel like so far the uh, Ephonic Marionette thing, I've mainly used on summoners. And I've mainly, well, mainly had it work really well on summoners. Because other guys, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite as effective around them. Um... Oh, it's a lot of friends. It's a lot of, uh, is it a lot of piety? It's a little bit of piety, the, that one. Whereas the, the other the shadow ones is a lot of piety. Yeah, so using it on the sub seems like a great idea. Oh, kite shield of fire to this? I don't really need that. My, I could just go like a plus two kite shield, but still. This guy's gonna get crazy summons out. I'm gonna get my own summons out. There's just doesn't like, seem to stick around for a while. Um. Right, so we got a tablet of intelligence. What is even on my head? It's plus one, is it? Yeah, I reckon the plus one helmet's actually slightly better at the moment because I've got shot on the enchant armor, so it's always gonna give me one more armor class if I wear it compared with the intelligence. Unless I somehow get short on intelligence or something, but 11 intelligence seems like plenty. Uh, actually, that's not working. I tried doing my own summons, but they didn't seem to work so well. There we go. Okay, I guess there was, wasn't enough room for me to get them in there to actually do some attack. I should have got them out earlier. Also, much uh, plus int items you can spell cast. I could even spell cast, yeah, if I wanted to. I've got the rampage boots already. Man, it, there really are like a lot of these. Like, there's a uh, plus spell, uh, plus intelligence armor. What else is there? This is not too much else in here. I mean, this is a helmet. Let's get out of here. If I do get into spell casting, I guess I could put on the helmet, right? Uh, I really don't need to finish this size. It's two handed, anyway.
Ooh, shot armor, good. So I can do that again on the crystal plate armor. Right, shot, what you got? It's a weapon shot, probably not much. It's got a dagger, plus eight, freezing. Got curaris, modding stuff, distortion, nah, it's, it's some basic clubs or whatever. I don't even know why shops bothering basic clubs. Who's gonna buy a basic club from a shop? I mean, probably someone at some point in history has bought a basic club from a shop. But it's gonna be one of the... It's probably even more rare than buying a lot of the fancy uniques or something. Just to buy a basic club. What have I got here? Pull these guys around the corner. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. No, probably not. I should probably just uh, try and acid up the bog art. And what else do I got that can actually affect these guys? There we go. That go of the bog arts, but I'm getting a little low on the acid ones. It's probably gonna be enough though. I need a life transmutation. I don't know. Was this first bug? It's a random one. Right blind, starburst, sublation blood. I got a right blind going recently and it seemed actually pretty decent. It was Hellfire Mortar. Hellfire Mortar seemed amazing when I had it going. Oh, I've got a great maze of immolation. Like it's immolating everyone. I was having a bit of fun immolating people. Oh, not on top of still. Let's shape shit doing. I don't have a father flood, do I? I've been sad. I could just do a sun scroll. So I should definitely make her spew out the weapons and then read a sun scroll, I reckon. So that she doesn't spew out her own weapons. Yeah, okay, that, that, that ability is more useful than I thought it would be the one that lets me take control of enemy spells. It's turned every summoner into kind of a lot less of a pain. What do we got? Uh, Trajan potion? Sure. I think I got another large pile of potions as well that I need to get identified. Which, speaking of identify, I've got an identify right here. So I've got, oh, cancellation. That's not a bad thing to have a ton of. Not that you'll be getting marked or anything here, but sometimes you get turned into a. Into a, like, polymorph into a creature or something. Got dangerous friends, but I want to open the structure or served or. Party tricks if I would amputation. I feel like I might have had an amputation already. Yeah, I do. Apparently, it's even like castable. I know mean, it's like seventy percent failure, so it's not really castable. This is an artifact rig, isn't there? It's a charm weapon. Is that another artifact rig? It's probably not an artifact. Twitching glass rig. That might be actually. I don't know, I don't recognize them by, like, their name. I recognize them by their color. I probably would have said if it was an artifact or not. Actually, uh, you can't easily tell if you can link to it. Should say down here somewhere. Yeah, it's an artifact. All right. I don't have nothing that can climb that vault out. I don't think I've got a way of, like, busting the wall open. But if I had a way of busting the wall open, that wouldn't be too bad. It was an artifact. Yup. So yeah, there's two artifact rings in there. This is there for Yes, it is. Good. So I got tons of willpower with the sketchy ring on. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep the sketchy ring on. Oh, hey, Donald. You can have to, like, case to bite me? No. Right, because there has to be at least... There's one other creature around for me to be able to do that or something. Because you can't just get the buffs of things. I'm not sure quite how it works. But apparently it doesn't quite work. Oh, it's reflection? I don't know. I don't know if I need the reflection. I haven't been having too many problems with the archers. Oh, bring a play ghost with a shadow there. I mean, I guess that's one way of opening up the wall. What other ways are there? I mean, there's not a lot of other ways of opening up that wall. Not as a dismantle, metal, uh, dis, 
this metal smush, but I can say it eventually. I got more shot on my girl up to plus six. I think it goes up to like, I think Crystal Blade, I was like plus 14 or something crazy at the end, so. Oh, hey. Don't have any problems with that makes you out. Um, <coughs> can I make this guy do some stuff? Well, that didn't feel like it did that much. I have four teleports? Crazy. Oh, but I think I probably got to use one of them. That was not my teleport. That was something else pushing me around. That was my teleport, though. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I reckon I gotta have another teleport here. Hopefully this one's actually does something instead of putting me right back where I was. Oh, I killed the one in Crystal's field, which is actually kind of what I was worried about there. I think I should be good now. Well, not once they come back into that room, I don't think I'm going to get straight back into trouble. But we'll see. There's a gold dragon, okay, that's good. I'll separate that one off a bit, although... Did bring his friend, so not perfect. Alright, well, I am done with level 4 of the vaults. So I gotta go to the Elven Halls with, like, sketchy bring on, because it's probably better than being banished. Uh, this enter isn't too bad because the elves are usually pretty quick to blink out of like their little starter areas. So you don't really have to worry about them staying um, behind the ball well, behind the fences or anything. So I don't seem to be able to get to the doorways behind here. Usually it's not too bad, but not this time round. I don't know, I'm sure I'll eventually find a way behind. What happens if you assemble that Pratchett Blade? Is it going to release elves or spiders or what does it release? Because I know that you get the ones with spiders. And you get the ones with uh, clowns. Oh, it's all fake. Okay. Oh, what well, the teleports is real though. I mean, that's something that I do need. Oh, where's this guy going? It's going all over the place, as it does, as a lot of these elves do, but I'm not worried too much about the individual elves, because I got all the resists I need, so I should just be able to heal up with my regen about as fast as I take damage from them. I'm fine, I'm slowed, I see. I'll stop covering my staircases, guys, I'm just trying to rest upstairs for a little while, but I guess I don't really need to. Do I need to do the whole plate? Like, I'm missing uh, one enchantment level on my demon whip here. And I do have the evening star for, like, Holy Wrath, but I want to enchant that one. I always forget to swap the Holy Wrath weapon, so if I have one on me when I'm fighting undead creatures, I don't know, because I definitely can. Um... Buddy's doing well. I'm just doing well. I need more vacations. I don't know if that helps too much. 
Yeah, it's throwing to like 16 so I can use the javelins effectively and I might get the shields up to like 20. With Tonos, I'm definitely gonna go for like god title though instead of um... Something like uh, Narva title or something. In fact, yeah, definitely not Narva title. I wanna try and get the god title that's got the cover in a really awkward spot. Because that sounds like it might get fixed at some stage, and I want to get it before it gets fixed, because then I can probably have both the broken one and the fixed one. I'm not entirely sure if it works like that, but hey. What do we got? We've got a ring of poison resist. We've got an amulet of the four winds. i got an amulet of, like, region or something on. There was something else I could do for resist electric. Um... I mean, that would be a way of sorting out my willpower that I could try and put on something for resist electric. Oh, got a cold regen? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cold resist, regen, resist corrosion. Now, I want to keep the dodgy ring on and just go with this amulet. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Give me a bit more cold resist. Uh, that should be all the resist. Yeah, I mean, the resist are looking amazing with the dodgy ring on. How can I drop? Old amulets. Uh... Kind of clad me in summon forest, summon fireball. Nope. Well, not summon fireball. But I mean, I guess it kind of summons a fireball. Where is the Hall of Blades? It must be down here, right? Because it looks like there's a suspiciously rectangular piece of the level missing there. Oh, another jewelry shop. I feel like it could be pretty spawned for the jewelry. Yeah, that was not that good. It doesn't even have any artifacts or anything. Which, when you're this spawned with jewelry, means it's kind of useless. I gotta open this up. Alright. Where are the weapons? Actually, where are the weapons? There we go. Everyone's noticed me now because I think one of these elves might have shouted as soon as I saw it. Although I guess a shout doesn't carry quite as far as it with this Menos. <coughs> oh. Because of the whole like quietness aura, maybe. I don't know. Alright, level 21. What do I want? I want to get strength, of course, again. This one head thing a little bit harder. I think I got uh, one. Evasion out of that as well. Okay. That's everything. Uh... I think I might... Uh, I think I can fight a little bit longer, actually. I was thinking of like some Primordial Knight, but I don't need that. If I'm gonna pop out the Primordial Knight, it can stick around for a bit longer first. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna need it actually. I'll say good thoughts. Yeah, because it seems like that was a pretty effective escape option. Alright, so I got the last shot weapon. There we go. Plus nine freezing demon whip. That's always a good weapon. What is this evening star? It's a heavy evening star. Alright. Perfect weapon if I was using Manifold Assault, but that's a 7th level now, which means it's pretty impossible to get online. I could go and chop my, uh... Oh, don't I have Holy... Yeah, I could chop my Holy Wrath Evening Star if I wanted to have one of those. In fact, sure. I can chop that one up. Alright, where's the way down? I don't know if there's really any undead or demons in the call uh the elven halls. I mean most of them would be summons like the ones that the demonologists bring in. Alright, well I can identify whatever that is, vulnerability. I don't know how uh, worthwhile it is attacking like the summons, probably not that worthwhile. Oh yeah. They can turn me invisible if I pop up the sky. It's got like a little 
um, asterisk before the invisibility meeting. It doesn't for me. What is this? I got a broad axe of holy wrath. I did start with broad axes, but I'm not going back to axes. What is my axe skill anyway? It's sitting on like 13. It's actually not too bad. I could totally use that broad axe of holy wrath, but I don't think it's worth going to. What's this? The Shimmering Kite Shield. It's unlikely to be good, but I'll give it a try. It might be something. Minus two Kite Shield of two corners. I mean, no, I don't think so. I think I'd rather wait till I can um, just use a Tower Shield. Just stick with my plus two Kite Shield. This plus two Kite Shield has lasted a long time. In terms of something I actually use. These are tough elves. They're gonna back up because they might be. I think they are. Yeah, definitely are. And I got the escape patch I can take up as well, which is nice. All right, let's pull them back. Uh, this card is kind of useful in terms of something to pull creatures back. Because the worst thing to do with, like, the turn level with the Hall of Blades, all these creatures run straight into the middle of them, that always ends badly. Well, not always. I've actually had a character get in here before with, like, Firestorm online, and that was kind of crazy, just running in and Firestorming everyone. But usually you don't want to move up if you don't have to. There's kind of another layer here, isn't there? I don't like the look of this. I might just get that dude to summon, distract himself. There we go. Oh, I might get this other, this other one to distract itself as well. In fact, that's bringing out some pretty hefty creatures, I think. I think Rampage and Scroll of Silence Berserker might be able to do it. Maybe. I've never done it like that with uh, anything close to Berserker. Oh, that's not right. Uh, I actually teleport out, although I seem to be really low on those teleports right now. I don't know if I needed to teleport just there, but sometimes the teleport, like, it it stops up and just puts you straight back into there, or even worse, it puts you into the middle of everyone. Alright. I kind of actually got some stage want to try the whole, uh, silence and just run it as a berserker, but it sounds absolutely terrifying. It started goes wrong because the berserk words off. Oh, is this a cover this willpower rig? All right. Sure. I mean, these guys are probably going to give me a decent selection of rigs I can drop. I can just turn this requirement to. That's silly, but I'll turn it to a fire to this rig. Uh, that doesn't actually help cloud my inventory though, does it? I can drop. Something? I don't know. I did it once with those uh, seven league boosts. That would definitely help stopping the berserk timing out. No, seven league boosts might actually work. And if you got seven league boosts on it, could be very hard to do it, uh, do it normally because you'd very easily end up running into the center. Just by accident, so no, that would actually make a lot of sense, I think. Just got a tropper or something. Which isn't too bad. It's one that's using to confuse me up. And it got me again with the confusion, but I still got six. Oh, Kieran, come on. They're gonna get a turn here when Dallas achieved me with a tropper. I guess this one's, uh, no, that one's warping. I was going to say that was uh, Tropper as well, but no. That was probably actually worse. Who's got the lights? Someone's presumably got a 
orb of light, right? It's probably not Manus. I don't think Manus spawns in here. Probably. <laughs> uh, can I just pop at this guy? Okay, it's bad as something there. Ah, uh, no, that's too weird. I'm gonna die drinking healing potion. Otherwise, I'm within one shot of a crystal spear there, which is not what I want to be. Alright, what have we got on the ground? We've got uh, just a basic ring, some sort of flail. Nothing that useful, unfortunately. That's got to be the guy with the orb of light. It's got a... No, it's got Eos. So it got the... Morning Star. That glows and... His people will electrocute. I mean, it's alright, but unfortunately it's only a Morning Star. It's not an Evening Star, so... A little bit less useful when you've already got, like, an Evening Star and Demon Whip. Go, got some blinking, got some tally bots. So I've only got three tally bots. I'm, I'm pretty good on blinking, though, at least. Oh, might, alright. What else have we got? We've got another emulation. I don't seem to be running out of those. I got another enchant armor. Does enchant my crystal play? Do I have any more? I don't think so. I think that was my last one. That's fine. Well, I'm done with the elven holes. Where next? I could just go straight to. Uh, Devs seems like the right place to go. I don't think there's really anywhere else to go. Uh, can I put on a heavier shield though? I've got 15 shield value, got 18 shield value. It slows my attack delay a little bit, but I think it's probably fine. So it's just I'm trading up the shields a bit. Ah, uh, what are these? One of a kind, are they? Wait. One of a kind books, yeah they are. I used to be one of a kind rings, but apparently it's books today. So it's got a radiate curse vagony, summon forest, destruction, animated armor dragon skull. I half tempted to get some animated armor dragon skull, but don't think I will. Crystal sphere, conjure lightning, summon horrible things. Got all the summoning spells there. Got the dragon skull to summon horrible things. So if you wanted to be a high level summoner, at your one stop shop, I think. I heard that guy is trying to javel on me. It's not doing a lot. It feels like I guess this damage isn't quite enough to really bypass my armor, really. Oh, you've got one of those bookshops and it had a book with every ninth level spell. Nice. Well, I, I hope you were in need of some ninth level spells, but that does sound nice. Oh, what is this? The hat is bear. It is with a random raid on, unfortunately. It's willpower, spirit guardian. Okay. What would happen if I took this ring off? It's my only source of resist electric, but I could probably get one from somewhere. I don't know. I just... Mm. No, I don't think it can quite make Adam the Bear work. But Adam the Bear is uh, part of the recipe if you try, well, try to get the maximum number of hit points possible. It makes your Berserk give more hit points, I think. I bought it for like 2k gold and got Dragon Scorn. Immediately found a book of the dragon on the floor. Uh, of course you did. Of course you got it immediately Well, as well. A real man play with rage. Is that the random rage? I don't know, it's tempting to go with a hat of rage. Doesn't quite work with the setup of going with the ring and stuff, but maybe it would work. Oh, more haste. Nice, nice. I don't know, I'll just buy everything. I got tons of money, right? Uh, I don't need the job. We've not got it anyway. 
I could probably just dump it on. These are really useful shops. I could probably just drop it on that offhand weapon I've got the uh, um, Holy Wrath one that I never actually used. Well, I did actually use it initially, and then I killed a Mabel and took his weapon. A random rage is just annoying because it makes you uh, want to kind everything. Yeah, and it kind of makes it means you gotta heal up or wait rest around after every battle to wait off the slow as well, which can definitely over the weak enemies you want to kind. Yeah, it is kind of annoying trying to rest off after every battle is just kind of painful. I don't think there's anyone that's like immune to slow that can actually use rage, right? Okay, scrolls are useful. Because the forms are like immune to slow, but they're also immune to the rage, so... I didn't even get next to that statue. I think it's good on casters the hat. That's true, actually. Could totally use on casters. This is silly, but I gotta do a primordial shadows. Let's walk up to this guy. <laughs> I don't know, a bit silly. I don't know if I should have done that, but it got rid of it. I just wanted to. Can I get back to the staircase while I'm marked? No, it looks like these guys are going to get up to me. Stop me getting to the staircase in a hurry. Oh, this guy's going to strip my... Hold up. I did strip my willpower, good. Because there was definitely a chance there of those dudes stripping my willpower and then the vampire mage paralyzing me and then everything else just hitting me for a ton of damage. But it didn't happen like that. It totally could have. Oh, room worshippers can cleanse slow on demand with, like, the... the draw-out power one. I guess that kind of works. What about the level and worshippers? I know they can get rid of some things. I'm not sure about slow. Are you play a Rue game with Berserk Mutation or game before? Yeah, I guess that would... You probably can't do the cleanse while Berserk, but that might actually work. Huh. Interesting. I'm getting pushed around by dragons, of course. They're actually kind of pushing me in a helpful direction, almost. Pushing me back like that. Getting me somewhere actually useful. These guys don't really feel like much of a problem. I got a little bit more shield value, but it feels kind of low. I guess like my dex is not really there. Yeah, it's like 10. Right, that's still fine. I still feel like shields are worth using, even if they're not the largest shield in the world, or the most shield value ever. Ah, the bot's trying to tell me cheap viewers. Go away, bot. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Bot's out of here. Oh, look at the purification removes negative conditions. Draining poison, slow, sick, petrified, confusion. Wait, that's a that's a Leveland one, right? And the vitalization protects you from sickness, poison, confusion, petrified, rot, and stat drain. That's how that of date. With the rot while active and boosts your stats, right? A Leveland works, but it might be outdated. Yeah, those boss commands sometimes are a little bit out of date. Oh, the Zen one definitely sounds like it's out of date. Oh, that's some guys. I think I'm too worried about a, um, what's it called? One of these dudes. Tandu Reaver, because I've got a resist of every kind at the moment. So yeah, it's not too bad. How do I even get to Hellhog? I even have like a flight. Um, 
I guess I just leave it. Like, obviously, I can uh, drink a potion or I can probably go find a flight somewhere. I probably do have one, but I might just leave it be. Not to chill on that island, I think. Oh, where are we going? Dropping a level to Nace in that case. That's really silly, like, uh... Just dropping down right next to the staircase. Oh, I might bring this to the staircase. It doesn't actually have to be an up one. It can be a down one just fine. Just like, we'll get flayed. Yeah, there we go. 100 flaying. So I want to be at a staircase so I can wait off the flaying if I need to. Oh, there's another flaying, dude. Oh, come on. It didn't even follow down the staircase. I don't trust these guys not to have another dude next uh, that, that flays up. So I gotta pull these ones back to the staircase as well. Because I'm pretty sure there was one that didn't, uh... Well, I didn't kill. Oh, hey, Marjorie. It's got distortion. Mm. Where is she? 40 javelins. I might be able to shoot it with a few of those. Do some damage to her before she gets up to me. Oh, can she even get to me with all this water in the way? I'm not sure. What's well, that? Didn't even hit her, did it? Oh, come on. What? I guess that works. I have to target her directly with my attack? Okay. I could probably just pull out some boomerangs now, honestly. I think I was overly worried about a distortion because I had the water on my side. Oh, don't push me down the staircase, you evil elephant. Oh, and off the staircase, I mean. Now oh, we'll just boomerang these dudes. I'm not going to worry about killing them properly. Oh, look at the drawer out. How was it saying it actually does? Also, okay. Freeze you from nets. Webs, constriction, confuse, and petrify. Oh, that one doesn't mention slow. So maybe you want to leave a little something when you're in Bizarre or game. Uh, maybe? I mean, it gotta be, right? Alright, what have we got? We got... Shield reflection, that's alright. It's not a distortion or something to send me to the abyss. That's character will probably do alright in the abyss, but I still don't want to take an unnecessary trip to the abyss if I don't have to. Wow, that guy's really mirroring, going really hard on the mirroring. Oh, it's definitely a rude. It was just, uh, you were just wrong about it? Huh. Strange. So, were you going on game preserving you get rid of the slow, but it turned out you actually couldn't? And it just never mattered? Because it could have been the case. That'd be kind of funny if that was the case. <laughs> Are Rue specifically flavored as removing things that uh, bind your actions so slow fits? <sighs> right, right. Getting rid of like nets and stuff. Things that Stop you escaping. Stop you doing stuff. No, so it kind of does make sense. I don't know. Oh, the bot is wrong. It does actually do that now. I wonder whether it didn't use to whether the bot's always, uh, always been wrong. Because it might have actually been changed at some point. The bot's just outdated, but who knows. Can't quite get up to this guy, it's probably fine. Oh, I might sort of bring it around to this corner. There we go.
I'm pretty sure that guy could have, like, kept me on that wall, like, if it did at least wrap deconstruct, it wasn't Earth Mage, it should have been up to, right? Anyway, what do I want to get? I want to get my, uh, you know what, I get my title. And I can worry about other skills, because I'm pretty sure all the skills I actually use are uh, up to decent levels now, so it makes sense. Alright, where's the way down? Does it actually do anything for these things? I think the primordial light does not get. What about this one? Uh, uh, it's got so much text. Does it say where it scales? I'm not sure what it says. Maybe they do more of their spells or something. They probably just do more of them or something. Probably, probably going to add it at some point. Yeah, almost certainly. Hey, little angels. I don't think they can do much, right? Wait, what do you mean I can do? Huh? Can... Oh, I guess a searing breath, maybe? I'm so confused. What would extra to do if I did an aphonic marionette on them? I kind of tempted to find out. You grasp next to who is shadow with your own and put on a performance but nothing seems to happen right yeah I'm not sure what, why they were saying I could do the thing and then when I tried doing the thing it did nothing which is not even a surprise I was like a budget uh, vitality I'm like this is gonna resist negative it's so expensive though it's not exactly budget Fire resist resist electric? That's actually not bad, but I'll never be able to afford it. Yeah, I mean, that's basically this, except less good. Um. <laughs> that shield is a poison resist one. All right. Ooh, there's a hound, um... Syrup, thank good. Let's pull it back to the staircase, I think. Try to how we had zero percent. Why does it even bother? I mean, I guess it doesn't know it's at zero percent or something. Pull some of these up. Grub can do a decent amount of damage, but once you get rid of his hounds, he's not too bad. Oh, or is he? Daddy doing a bit of damage to me this time around. Can I go? Uh, try and paralyze him. Because I got rid of his hounds, so I don't need to worry about those howling me. There we go, he's gone. So he's got his uh, Glaive of Draining, which is the one he uses to do quite a bit of damage. Thankfully, it's not like a bar each or something, but it's still, yeah, definitely it's still not a fair share of damage. I don't think any of these are too bad. I don't think the dragon even dropped his armor, but I got the crystal plate armor. All right. Oh, what's happening? Getting teleported to the other side of the map. It's funny when you've like almost done a level and it's like, oh, hey, let's go to the other side with a little teleport here. It really doesn't matter, but... I guess it's kind of fun when it happens sometimes. Uh... Pull this back around the corner, I think. At least try to. You know what I probably could? I want to try and see if it's effective doing that guy spells. Yeah, it summons a bunch of dudes on my side. Okay. Although I don't know how I feel about getting Drift Deathrake on my side. Uh, It would probably be careful with his targeting. I don't want it to hit me with his poison or something. Oh, Apocalypse is OP. You think that, uh, Retomic? I, I remember using uh, Apocalypse quite a bit when I was bit with Rue, but I don't think I go with Rue that often. I don't know. Not my favorite god ever. Maybe I should play them some more. Maybe I'd, uh, get better at them if I played them more.
I don't want to go. I want to do Volts 5. I don't think Volts 5 with Rue is kind of fun. You just like go down the staircase and just blow up a whole bunch of guys. I think I want to drink before I go down. Uh, do I have like might? Do I have a lot? I might just go down. Yeah, you know what I might actually put on some might. All right. Being nice and solid should help me out, but I'm still pulling in a number of guys. Yeah, in fact, uh, this should be an almost ideal god for... Oh. Doing here. Uh, well, there's only one area they can step into. There we go. It was either that or setting off the alarm trap, which would have uh, required me to probably at least teleport. <laughs> probably cancel as well. Oh, you think your first win was with Rue? Or first, uh, or one of the first? How many wins have I had with Rue? I feel like I haven't won Rue much at all. Uh... I'll ask the bot. I mean, I've had games where Champion Rue abandoned them in the tournament. That was seven Rue wins. So that's still one Zob. But it's not exactly up there on the list of wins that I've had. Yeah, poor old Zed on three wins. Way less than anyone else. The same with Kiku on down there with uh, three wins as well. Well, this is two. Are you more, uh, more Ignis wins than Zed? Yeah. I don't know. I've never been massively tempted with Zed. Is that the center of the map or something? This is kind of a lot of dudes. I'm going to set them on fire. Because that's what you're meant to do when you see a lot of dudes, right? Just tell them all the bad. And apart from this guy, because that guy's made of fire. <laughs> Let's strip my willpower. Come on. Okay, what's this guy got? It's got a plus two tower shield. I want that one, but... Gotta fight it first. Oh... Hey, I saw the guy recalling with a paralysis. I love when you can do that. Um, like, nope, you're not recalling. Not today. Is it is very bad from the few times you've picked them. Yeah, I've heard that some people like them and extended, but I don't know. I've never really found them that fun. Especially with, like, all the limitations that they have. Like, all the things they disapprove of. It's like... Oh, there's no farms, no evil spells, no, I don't know. No evil farms, definitely. Right, well, I got a shield they can put on. They definitely would approve you doing some neck mutation or something, which area actually is the edge of the map. Not the edge of the map. Oh, okay, I think I know where I am now. Good. So I'm gonna go around this way and just get like round the edge. What is my most won god? Oh, apparently shining one by quite a bit. Okawari makes sense. Gozak, oh yeah, Quazlol. I should do more Quazlol. I know they're up there on my wins, but I should do more Quazlol. What does Zid do in extended? Apparently you can like recite to things and it can occasionally like paralyze or Confuse some, a lot of the enemies. This apparently that's what people like them for. Um, I think you need like high invocations. You just go around reciting it everyone. At least that's what I've heard. But I haven't really done it personally. I don't think. So I've heard like some people go shining one. Get their holy wrath weapon and switch to Zen. Um... Alright, what do I need? Invocations is going pretty well. You know what? I'm going to get more invocations. Going to make sure I keep this title, I think. Because I don't know if these titles are going to get reworked or if they're staying like this. But either way, I want to make sure I get them. Oh, you guess uh, fiends don't have amazing head dice? No, I don't think they do, was it? Oh, you're looking at brimstone fiends there? Got 18 head dice. Yeah, because the head dice kind of stop going up after a while. You know, the creatures are getting tougher. I 
Like, orbs of fire just have a lot of head dice. And then even, like, uh, pandemonium lords have less head dice than orb of fire, right? It was a lot of the unique ones, like Starabob and stuff. All right. Uh, don't really need a formative prism of searing ray. What am I about? Like, I don't know, probably over halfway through this level. But yeah, Death Metals is definitely a good uh, Vols 5 god for the extra silentness so you don't get super surrounded at least early on. And I've also got a good regen, which is also another nice Vols 5 thing. So I was kind of would have been surprised if this uh, ended up going horribly wrong. I mean, obviously, your initial teleport can still be bad. If you get an alarm trap set off like I almost stood there, it can make things a lot worse. And you have to use consumables and stuff. Orbs of fire and mute to Zen? Yeah, I think so. In fact, are they like the highest hit dice monster in the game or something? Or am I wrong on that? Like, I think they're higher than Antaeus and Cerebob and those sort of guys. That thing looks way too similar to me with the shield that's identical. It confused me for a second there. Like, wait. It's like, which one of those is me? You know, obviously the one with the demon whip, but still, it does look way too similar. Uh, I kind of want to burn these guys. I don't need to burn these guys. I'm not going to burn these guys. I'm going to bring them into a corridor. I kind of want to, though. <laughs> All right, that one that's trying to take the injuries is uh, struggling to keep its health up, although I think it's kind of splitting around between them, actually, depending which one decides to take the injuries, and then they're healing each other up and stuff. I guess Terrible says so head dice like 21, yeah. And Orb Fire, is Orb Fire like 30 or something? Ridiculous. Alright, what the earth is chainmail here? Plus a chainmail of parts unknown. Nah. And there's also some sort of longbow there as well. I've got like plus six crystal plate armor, plus seven crystal plate armor cold resist now. Wait, did I pick up the rune already? Or did I get the fake rune? I must have got the fake rune before. Um, yeah, this one looks real. All right. There we go. And it's also the chain mail, because it would have disappeared as soon as I got next to it otherwise. Hey, I finally got my phantom mirror. That took, uh, took a little while to get that one, but hey, it's good to have. Look at the old fire. Yep, 30 hit dice. They haven't changed or I think it would grab a tambourine. All right. Uh, it's gotta go wherever the order explorer wants to go at the moment. There's no real pressure, so we've got a magic regen resist, cold resist, electric tablet. No, I don't think so. You got a staff of alchemy and all sorts of stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not a staff character today. Also, how are you finding the new disc metals for your work? Um, the abilities feel more useful than the old abilities. I mean, I'm still not using the shadow step. But the, the one we get puppet guy is v occasionally very useful, and the knife for one is a great escape option. So I'd say the abilities are definitely more useful. Uh, yeah, still think they're kind of a casting god, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about actually using this on assassin. Maybe it would work on a natural assassin. Oh, you took a nap there, Ruga, and you're back now, though. Yeah, no, this is, uh, they're... Their abilities have definitely been very useful. Where do I go, Zotch? Guess. Come on, one of these gotta move next to me. Uh, why can't I kind of pop at that guy? Uh. 
All right, well, that did something, but now I just got to go back up. Yeah, pumping the summoners is definitely the way to go, though. That's, um, <laughs> I can try pumping some other guys. It just didn't feel that effective, but pumping the summoners always gives you a nice little army. Ooh. Oh, I gotta say it's probably fine, but actually that's not doing that great. Um, can I just type one out? I think I just do a uh, shadows and then type one out. Right, so they do get to attack me once when they're next to me still. Interesting. Wasn't the thing that hides the starlight's pollution? I think it usually is, right? Isn't it often just uh, too much background light as well? Like, um, and there's lots of street lights or something lighting the place up, then you can't see the stars because they're drowned out by other light as well. Yeah, and the pollution as well, so I guess uh, also hides them. Because, I mean, especially if there's something lighting it up. As they get out of jail, God, it kind of is with an ability to reduce your sight. Because it's not like a perfect escape, but it's a really good one. Because I think the things next to you can still attack you, but a lot of things lose track of you. Oh, that's not right. Um, and it's... Oh, a lot of things just can't attack you, because especially rage creatures. So it gets you a lot of time to get a teleport or something off. Also, I should probably just, like, Revelations or something this level. Oh, is it too much to ask for a bonus 10 days from now to use each of disability 25 times? <sighs> the Aphonic Marionette definitely could ask to use that one 25 times. I'm trying to think about the average, like, sort of piety. Might be reasonable. It does cost a lot of piety to do a Nightfall. Um... Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to work out like the average sort of explore piety gain and see if that's reasonable, but it might be completely reasonable. I mean, this character's certainly not going to use it anywhere close to that, but I think it probably isn't selling. Yeah, I feel like it's costing quite a lot of piety. That I reckon pumping guys though twenty five times is probably reasonable. You definitely have to do like the math with the uh, piety gain and see how many times you can actually do it. Uh, although I guess there's piety decay, which is kind of complicated. <laughs> no, I feel like piety decay, like overall, doesn't do a huge amount. It just kind of is complicated, right? <laughs> um, like I guess it does kind of penalize you for not having regen or something, but. I don't know, it just doesn't do a huge amount. Oh, faith exists and so does extended. Yeah, I mean, that's true. And it's probably just uh, as doable in a normal game anyway. I mean, yeah. I mean, this character's had their party maxed out most of the time, so they definitely could have been doing their abilities a lot more if they needed to. I'm really not sure what the average sort of numbers that you could expect to use your various uh, sort of cost abilities is. Oh, so many liches. I do want this. Ring might be alright. Helmet might be alright. So we've got... Is this a vampire draining guy? It's an uh, Illim's ghost. The Tenju Berserker. Uh, we've got... Elim's Ghost, also a Tenju Berserker. And we've got Wakif's Ghost, the Gargoyle Hunter. Alright. I'll definitely do the rest of the level first. You know what? I think I do do this. I'll pop my teleport. Wait five turns and pop this open. Whoa. No, that's bad. I gotta silence these guys up. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully those guys spread out just a little bit. Let's pull this guy back. I don't trust it ought to be another one of these guys. Can I cancel it up? I don't think I can. 
Huh. Don't massively like it being hasted like that. Do attack reasonably fast at least. What sort of healing potion? I'm not sure about this. It's getting a bit rather close for the haste, uh, the... Not the haste, the for it heading me, like, with a crystal spear. I don't think you could do two in a row, though, because my attack delay is good enough, but... Ooh, am I winning against this guy? Guess it's not doing too much damage to me. I don't know, it might have been a bit greedy opening this vault up, but... We'll see. It always sounds up when I need to. I've got plenty of those ones left at least, although I killed the agent Lich that time around. Another one of these, uh, Ilium's Ghost, should hopefully be identical to the last one I fought. Except, of course, there's lots of RNG involved, so we'll see how it goes. Doesn't seem to have a good chance of hitting me. We'll see. No, it's about 50%. But I don't have a massively great chance of hitting it. I'm also about 50%. Right, so this dude blinks around, but it does melee attacks. Oh, yeah. Means it's got to be mildly annoying, because it seems to be healing up all the damage that I do to it. Hold on, I know what I should be using. Why am I not using my Holy Wrath against ghosts? I mean, that's the obvious thing to use against these ghosts. No, that seems a change the time. In fact, I should be using against all these guys, actually. Oh, that was silly of me, because it's, uh, it's decently enchanted as well. Oh, you saw uh, your Octopus Sumner stream and tried playing after months. It was hilarious fun. You went to Zari and was casting Dragon's Call by Oak. Yeah, Octopus Sumner is actually really good. <laughs> I feel like I should have played one earlier. That, that was amazing, sort of, playing an Octopus uh, Sumner. Because I felt like my summons are actually able to keep me protected. Alright, what's the rig? Resist negative intelligence? Okay. How much resistance left for resist poison to harm? So. Still a willpower, but. Do I have a, I have a willpower core resist one here? James is not like fire resist or something. If I swap that out. I'm missing fire resist, I see. Right. That's not terrible though. I can swap in the fire resist when I need it, I think. Like when I'm fighting the orbs of fire. Because it is a ring. So it is quick to swap at least. Harm on melee? Yeah, unfortunately so. Today, but... I don't know. It seems all right. What does the hell do? It's like resist electric. I don't know. Maybe it's not too special. What's up these walls? I'm not sure if I've seen these yellow walls before. They're exceedingly bright. Just actually kind of nice, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them before. Wait, is it good old faded older to dismantle Bjorg Ashenzari? There's a two third chance of uh, something bad happening. I don't even know what the penance is on this god. I still do kind of want to know. Oh, there we go. Master invocations. Do kind of want to know what happens if you swap gods and get your own god, like on a faded altar. Sounds strange. I do want to get the armor and the shields as well. Yeah, what's my Mace of Flails? I might get that up to 20. I don't think I need it too high, but it would be helpful. Bring it up a little bit. Alright. How much do I care about strength? I got the... I think I'll keep my evasion on. So did my armor go down? Why is my armor go down? I thought I had like 50 armor for a while. Oh, right, it's not the rig. So I got rid of the slow, but I'm not sure how worth it was. Uh, <laughs> probably worth. Slow is kind of nasty. Sometimes. No, it doesn't actually trigger very often. You can sometimes make up for it with uh, either cancellation or something else if you need to. 
This is hard to get to. Hold up. I gotta make this dude. Tried something. Did I fail? Or was there just no room in there? Maybe there's just no room for me to make that dude something, I guess. I think Gamma getting desperate to fade in order. I don't want to lose my title, though. <laughs> think of this uh, Who Hides the Stars title. I'm gonna chart the armor. There we go. I don't think I. Uh... I don't know. I feel like it's a gamble I'm never gonna take, but I'm really curious what does happen. Okay. The good old books there. What's the Christmas fear damage on that guy when I got harm on? Because usually it's up to... What is that? Um, wait, is that, a, is that different from some of the other ones? It's... 105 without harm. And there's plus 20%. Uh, so it's like, I don't know, 130 damage or something? I don't know, that's not too bad. I've got more health than that. Oh, squirrels all the hides the stars with their clouds. I mean, that actually, that, that actually would hide the stars. Shame you can't get this title like a meteor because they have all the star titles normally. Because then you could be a star that hides the stars. Oh, hey, TM match. Probably gonna back up, but... That's not to like about a little bit of immolation. Oh, thank you. Got rid of my mirror, didn't that? That didn't work as well as I'd like. Okay, I shouldn't have done the mirror. No, this is definitely not working. Oh, well. I shouldn't have done all some of those things, but that's fine. Hey, TM match. I have to bring around the long way, aren't I? It's fine. What are in view? Right. She should be the same speed as me, so as long as she doesn't view, I should just be able to keep pulling it back. I don't think... Oh, there's some more guys, actually. I was gonna say, I don't think the guys have followed, but clearly they've all followed, so I gotta go kill those ones separately. Oh, come on. Uh... Wait, does she have distortion? Ooh, she does. Okay. I think I just got a level with the risk of going to the abyss because I'm high enough level that it's basically just an extra rude if I get sent to the abyss. Speaking of the abyss, and oh, abyss 4 even. <laughs> okay, that is quite deep. Let me go try find a rune though, I wouldn't mind an extra one. I haven't done the Abyss rune in a, in a while. I think the last game was probably a 15 rune game that got the Abyss rune. That's always deeper, but I'm already on level 4. I don't really plan on going any deeper than that. That really blends in. That water blends in perfectly with the floor, pretty much. I noticed it initially, so it's glad I didn't have to try and travel there to get away from a monster and then realize I couldn't travel. Okay. Alright, level 25. I know where the rune is, but this guy's stopped me getting there. Where's the entrance? Is it just down here? That looks like the front entrance. Let's bust that door down. Oh, something happened. Trying to emulate these guys.
Hopefully my javelins don't get left behind, but if they do, they do. Can't move closer to something. I don't even know what. Um oh, who just confused me? It doesn't really matter, I just gotta Confused again? Wait, is my willpower? Wait, oh, my willpower is stripped. No wonder. Uh... Man, it's so hard just to uh, get in here. This endless supply of creatures. I want to get really out. I want to get to my rune. The gateway lead the outs fight, I guess. Oh, I'm fragile now. I see. Wait, where's the rune exactly? Hold up. Uh... There it is. Okay. Um... Can't go straight willpower. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I don't know if I can really afford the rune, but does it does it work? No. Oh, I feel clumsy. Sure. Oh, almost lost my rune, but there we go. Got my rune, so I got a minus dex mutation, but I got my rune, which is what mattered. I don't want to get banished again, though. Um, got my mirror back, so I can mirror up tier match. And there we go. Tier match has been sent to the abyss. Well, that will teach her for carrying around a distortion weapon. All right, where's the way down? Other revelations here. I back up with a curse though. I can fight it, I just need to try and separate it from the other creatures here. Uh, think it's going to be fine to lignify right now, and then I can bring out the javelins, because I mean, nothing else is really going to be an effect this guy. Oh yeah, missing fire resist, but oh well, um... How much more jun armor do I need? So I need five more for my crystal plate armor, one more for my helmet, ton more for my shield, two more for my cloak, one more for my glove knob. I'm never gonna get myself enchanted. I mean, that's uh, not a surprise. Oh, hey, tech man! What's a new dismantle? So they got some new abilities, like the. Um. Ephonic Marinette or whatever it is, and the. Primordial Knight, so the Primordial Knight makes it so you can't see anything, but also means nothing can see you, except you can kind of still uh, navigate using the map. Are these guys just chilling? These guys are just chilling in the sauna. Alright. Let's just leave them be, I think. You can just chill, but they want some normal fire. And uh, some of the other things have changed as well, but they... Yeah, the items have definitely got more useful, which is nice. Oh yeah, the shadow is like an actual physical thing now that pops out instead of just mimicking you uh, without really showing it. Oh, you never seen the sauna before? Well, the guy's just chilling. 
Oh, that was a pretty cool one. And the old fire can't get out as well, which is good. It's just uh, stuck in there as a sauna. Yeah, I can actually show you what the phonic marinade thing does. Like, if you use it on a guy with spells, and then cast its own spells, so it does, like, a bunch of our peoples, I think, there. Like I said, it doesn't always work. It only works on certain spells. Um... I'm gonna rest up. I have to manually rest. These fuggies can't, fuggy can't even get next to me. Should kind of be able to rest, but I guess it doesn't want to let me. Oh, there's another one that's bringing it around the corner as well to try and lignify. I'm glad I got a ton of the lignification potions. So I shouldn't have too many problems with running out of those or anything. The silent aura is still pretty useful. The one that uh, dampens all noises in your surroundings. I feel like it'd be more useful with mages, but it's alright with this melee character. Because yeah, I've had that on mutation as a mutation before on a mage, it was pretty huge. Just be able to blast the noisy spells and just be making sort of medium amounts of noise. Oh, dude's making it out of the sauna. Yeah, well. Yes, I couldn't really expect them to stay in there forever. Oh, hey, over fire. Pull it nice and close. Um, oh, wrong rings. Oh, wrong rings. Hold on. I need the random slow one. Because I guess I max out my fire resist instead of just being one fire resist, which is definitely the way to go with this all the fire. God, oh, can I easily type on next monsters? I gotta reset that. Okay, so I got Dex, Genetic Potential, and C Invisible. Sure, that sounds all right. Uh, I think I might just give myself more of a prop choke point, although I might dug through it somewhere else. Thankfully, I don't think that's going to matter. All these guys that are getting brought in by the protein for genitals are kind of a problem because they don't respect my choke point at all. Also, I should probably go back. Uh, I don't have to go back, but I think I'll take off the, the ring that occasionally slows me. It's just such a good ring that it's almost worth wearing anyway. And I was wearing it for like half the game anyway, despite the random slow on it. Well, more than half the game, I was wearing it for ages. Okay, we're going to drop Sea Invisible, I guess. I think I got tons of Sea Invisible things. And the mutation, which I'll probably have for a while. Well, we'll see. Depending on those radiates go, I might end up having to reset or something. It's all going berserk. I think that's fine. Oh, what's a progenitor summon shining eyes must you? And then you get like hasted shining eyes here to fight. Yeah, that's always so bad with the mutations. It's kind of random what they bring in, and sometimes it's pretty harmless, and other times like, hey, I have some hates of Johnny guys. Why not? I mean, at least the taste of Johnny guys aren't going to kill you directly. What's in here, anyway? More dragons? There's probably some tragic guarded by those dragons, I'd imagine. Or maybe it's just dragons, no treasure this time round. But usually this was such a treasure. Oh yeah, in fact, I can see the magic mapping, which I probably should have magic mapped this level anyway.
And hey, it's been late to Magic Map now. Let's go down and make sure I Magic Map this level. Okay, there's a moth. That's fine. Oh, where's my scroll? There we go. Oh, how many runes uh, you get on this guy? I think it's only just like four or something. Yeah. So we got the basic three and then grab the abyssal rune wells there. You might as well when you're there. Right, how's my trap? Oh, teleports. Hmm. Hmm. Right. What's the plan here? It's uh, definitely a lot of traps which could make this awkward. This is also a little bit awkward with Moth and Wrath Berserky, everyone. I, don't, I still don't have a way of like breaking open walls or anything and I'm mic'd. Okay, well that mic might be okay. It's not going to last very long with this Quicksilver, right? And I can just hide in this little corner. This should be fine. What's this guy got? Net? Mm, should be fine. So I might have pulled some mobs to fire or something out, which would actually be a good thing, I think. Given the state of my traps. Alright, level 26. I might not even reach back to level this character. As a four rune game, that's kind of funny. I mean, I guess the Abyss really isn't worth that much XP, so that doesn't really count in terms of getting your level up. Alright. Oh, I did pull this thing out. Do I have another alarm trap? I guess it didn't last very long before the Quicksilver Dragon got rid of it. Something sounds like that in a love trap, I could maybe... You know what, I might go stand on myself. <laughs> okay. And then I want to dig through the center here. There we go. Now I'm on a staircase ready to escape. I'd bring that guy up if I needed to, or probably I'd have to silence it first before I pulled up. Where is everyone? Surely there's some more guys here. Strange. I mean, I know I'm a small silent novel, but that was still an alarm trap. I should have pulled something out. I guess it's time to go in, right? I mean, I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, back there, okay. All right. Oh, would you look at that? I'm uh, <laughs> instantly netted. Okay. Okay, you scroll noise ball of it? Quite possibly. Ah, oh, seems a shame, but I'm gonna have to use the blinking. Where does this find? Let's just primordial night. Oh, it's there. Whoops. I gotta start a teleport. Actually, I got a teleport trap here. Don't need that teleport. Let's cancel out before it goes off. There we go. I mean, I got the orb, right? <laughs> Do I need to be here? The answer I think to that is no. I've got my title. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, Pandemonium Lord. I actually don't want to use my god abilities too much because I want to keep this title, but hey. That's one way of getting the orb, I guess. Do you see the change to Jewel? I don't know if I did see the change to Jewel. I actually no, I definitely haven't seen the change to Jewel. That dude's fast. Um, the hundred seventy percent, right? Uh, where's the nearest thing? Well, the change yeah, exactly. What is the change here? Yeah. Okay, I've haste up, but it's not gonna get me away from the guy. Can I just kill it? Got AC. It's 
physical damage. I don't know, it's quite fast. I think the idea just to get back into a choke point. Where's the digging? Yeah, I mean, that works just fine. It's probably better than trying to kill it or something. Was my other option. Oh, the complex change. Right. I presume, like, the way the targeting of the duel works has changed, because I know the, like, the old targeting way, the devs weren't exactly happy with the fact that you wanted to duel weak things instead of tough things. Another pandemonium lord. Oh, there's been enough of those this time round. Alright, keep on going. And I'm at the exit. I'm, uh, who hides the stars with a weird combo in there. Let's get out of here. Well, how many people have had the who hides the stars title? Oh, probably a few, right? Oh, Jeff's probably got it already. <laughs> They need to get all the titles. All right. Well, that was not a bad run. I still like endless blinky at the end. Uh, there was a bit of a chaotic Zod 5, though, but it got there. No, that was, uh, that was a pretty quick game. Three hours, 40 minutes. It was a Mali one. So it's, I guess it was slightly slower side for a Mali game, but still pretty quick.